the driving the driving yeah. was fine. Uh, yeah, it was one of those where I was like, man, I hope I don't hit traffic. You know, and mm-hmm. I, I man, I, hell, I don't even know if I ever. Well, you know what? The last time, so is this Gladstone? Yeah, Gladstone. So yeah. the last time I was around here was back in like the early two thousands. Mm-hmm. So I used to play uh, men's fast pitch. Yeah, and there's a park. It's called Happy Rock. Yeah, Happy Rock. Yeah. yeah. So we had a tournament there. It was a qualifier. Mm-hmm. It's a nice park. Yeah. And if you win, if you win there. I mean, at the time, if we win, then we move on to like Illinois or some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was the last time I think I was here in I, this area. I see you guys talk about softball a lot. Yeah. So you guys grew up playing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a, a family team. Oh. Okay. So I don't know if you know uh, the fast pitch, fast pitch softball was huge mm-hmm. back in the day. Oh, I have a softball story for you. I'll, okay, t- I'll yeah. tell it to you after Hell this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so my family, we have a, a our Garcia team. Mm-hmm. We uh, it was my dad and his brothers. They uh, they formed this team back in I think it was seventy six. Really? Yeah, they all fought. Their dad came up here from Mexico, and then little by little, his sons started to come up. At that time, my grandparents had split up. So my grandpa came here in Kansas City. He was a baseball player, uh-huh. uh, graduated at Argentine High School. You know, he just worked at the railroad. Mm-hmm. And eventually all his boys coming up, you know, and uh, yeah, so they formed this family team and, it, you know, there was eight brothers. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, it was a squad. Mm-hmm. Then eventually the second generation came in. We, we uh, took over the team. Yeah. And, and this uh, was softball still yeah, in it, the it 70s. Means, and it means fast pitch. So really? you're familiar with fast pitch. There's a you know, uh-huh. difference from slow pitch. Like the women's uh, fast pitch college. Uh-huh. You know, I, I don't know. Throw real hard. Yeah, right, yeah. I've, you know, seen, like, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, I didn't know that, that was, was a, a specific, like there was slow pitch and fast yeah, pitch. Yeah. I didn't know. So this fast pitch, it went from baseball and there wasn't any baseball team. So they said, let's, let's play softball. So mm. people had to learn how to throw underhand closer. I mean, it's a fast sport. So when you do slow pitched, yeah, how do they determine if it's slow or fast? Like well, how the do slow you... pitch, the slow pitch is more where the pitcher will throw in it. It's an like an, an arch. oh, like a lob. Yeah, okay. just a lob, and you got to sit there and wait for it. Uh, okay. Fast pitch, it's more instead of like baseball, you see it from top. Uh-huh. You're seeing it from the waist, and it's an arch, ball, and like, it's closer. Yeah, and the ball's a little bigger. Uh-huh. You know, so it's just a. Sport really? itself, right? It's it was an awesome game to play. I figured in the seventies it'd be a big baseball thing. I didn't know softball was still prevalent. Yeah, in the, so that's in the 70s that's just as the well. thing that you know, uh, Mexicans formed their own league down mm-hmm. in the Argentine district, and you know there was teams from the west side. You mm-hmm. know they made their teams and they all played each other, and it, it was a cool thing back in the day. But why softball over baseball? It was just something yeah, easier that everybody could I think, do? I think so. Yeah. You know, and baseball fields are a lot bigger, oh, you know, okay. so then who knows you'd have to Oh, there's specific baseball. softball fields. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. They're, they're smaller. They're shorter, shorter oh, fields, okay. shorter fences. That's cool. You know, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a different game, and you see a lot of baseball players that try to transition it to the fast pitch, and it's, it's just hard. Oh, really? Because baseball, you're seeing the ball come from top. Yeah. And fast pitch, it's down low. And, you you know, you, you're uh, – and then these guys come in with hard swings and kick their leg up, want to hit, you know, home runs every time. Uh-huh. Yeah, it just – it's Doesn't a whole different out. game. And some, some baseball players can't pick it up. Yeah. Some – shit, some, some do. You, you know, like Albert Pujols. Uh-huh. Like I think his – one of his brothers was playing – uh, fast pitch softball with the team from the west side there. And mm-hmm. uh, and he was a good ball player, but, you know, of course, Albert did his own thing. Who was that? I don't know who that is. Albert, Albert, Albert Pujols, mm-hmm. a baseball player. Oh, okay. Yeah, from Played. the area. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he – I could be wrong. I thought – was it Raytown or somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, but – Did he play for like a MLB? Yeah, he played for the uh, – he played for the St. Louis Cardinals at one oh, time. Oh, okay. And then he – Actually, that name, I feel like yeah. I've seen that name on a jersey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's not playing anymore. Because people were big Cardinals fans back, like, yeah, I feel like was, early 2000s. It was one of those Cardinals were winning and everybody just Everyone jumped on that bandwagon, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I tried softball once. And uh-huh. so the guy that signed us up, uh, there's a dude that runs this softball league. His name's Polly, And uh, I think his last name's Briones. And uh, he's from the West Side. And uh-huh. he, he they do the softball tournaments out there uh, by Memorial Park. 
or the uh, Liberty Memorial mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right underneath. That. I don't know what that park's called, but um, it's Penn Valley. Penn Valley, yeah. But they've changed it to the Waxy Hernandez okay. ball field because he had a family team. Oh, well, okay. So. Yeah, so <laughs> we sign up, and it was a bunch of us uh, buddies. And it, it was actually quite a bit of us. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll try this out. It seems fun. And the dude gets us jerseys and they say baseball on the front with our last names on the back. Yeah. And I'm like, and they look like baseball jerseys. And I'm like, I thought we were playing softball. <laughs> like I looked up what softball people wear and it's like, they were like t-shirts, but they didn't look like what he got us. And they definitely don't say baseball. on it. <laughs> so then he goes, yeah. And then make sure you get these pants and these cleats. So I'm like, okay. And I look at the pants and I see what everyone's getting. And I'm like, these look like baseball pants. Like why, why are we, these guys wear shorts. Why are we doing this? But I was like, okay, this is going to be funny. Yeah. I don't know if the dude that did it like with us, who signed us up thought it was going to be comedic or if he was just like <laughs> being serious, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And so we dress up and I'll have to show you a picture later on on yeah, my yeah. phone. Oh my God, dude. We look like we were the, I don't know, just off brand of the Royals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we go out there and we've got, you know, 5950 hats on yeah, yeah. with, you know, KC on them with our whole baseball outfit on. And we walk out on the field for our first game. And I mean, we barely practiced. And these guys, they had to have been holding in the laughter because we go out there and they're just all staring while they're in shorts and T-shirts, yeah. chilling. And we're out there. We look like we're in the major leagues. And, I mean, I don't even think we won a game, man. I think we played like maybe a handful of games. And then the guy that signed us up dropped out and we kind of just all fell apart. They were contacting <laughs> us like, are you guys coming right. back? We're like, That's then, right. um, the guy who runs it hit me up because he knew me. And he's like, are you guys coming back? I'm like. I don't think so, man. <laughs> how, how old were you? How long, how long ah, was dude, this? Dude, I don't even know, man. This was like 2017, 2018, okay. maybe. Yeah. Around that time. So it was, it was a while yeah, back. I know they use those fields for slow pitch and fast pitch. It was slow pitch. I don't think it, it was, was fast pitch. pitch fast yeah, because yeah, like you said, slow pitch. We could barely hit the slow pitch. <laughs> <laughs> slow pitch. I mean, their uniforms are either T-shirt or some of them wear... Like now they're baseball shirts with the button button up and the logo. Oh, so they do wear that in slow pitch, but they do wear the shorts. See the one the one we were doing, they just looked like they were out there yeah. drinking beer, having a good time. Oh, like, we do that fast yeah, pitch too, yeah. right? But fast pitch, it's um, I mean, we would get decked out. We get the pants, the socks, mm. the matching wristbands. I mean, we did it all. So fast pitch. You would say, yeah, yeah, these guys are like major league. They look like a major league baseball team. Oh, okay. Back in the day when my dad was playing, like it was probably, I'm going to say maybe 78, 79. They were wearing full get up gear. And I remember going to a game with my dad and they played this team called, they, they were the Orioles baseball team. Mm-hmm. And they, to me, seeing these guys wearing the Orioles baseball uniform, I thought they were actually the professional baseball team. Yeah. Not knowing. I didn't know shit. You mm-hmm. know, I was just out there. With, I'd go out there with my dad and I'd just go out and play with my cousins on the playground. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, I was almost like starstruck saying, damn, these guys are actually baseball players playing against my dad. Mm-hmm. Not thinking baseball, softball, mm-hmm. whatever it was. Not knowing they just got yeah, off their nine they to got five. Their, <laughs> yeah, they got their full uniforms yeah. and they all look the same and they... Same yeah. shoes, and I'm like, shit, that's that's well, maybe cool. we were in the wrong league. I don't know because uh, <laughs> we were definitely in the slow pitch because uh, they were not throwing no heaters at us, you know, and yeah, and uh, we were the only ones dressed like that. So everybody yeah. else had they had the big softball. You ever seen those big jerseys? They yeah, wear yeah. the big long ones. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I they have. Big, about, colorful, yeah. like they're all. Yeah, it's, yes, 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 exactly. That's what they had. That's, on. Yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah with, that's, with just baseball shorts or uh, just pants shorts, and, and they didn't have pants. It was just shorts. Oh, you talking about them? Okay. Yeah, yeah, they did. They they just that's had shorts funny. on with yeah, their softball like style jerseys because that softball style jerseys they're kind of different. Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah, at least that's, whatever that's they thing. were yeah, doing. Yeah, they still do that. Yeah, I have friends of mine. Uh, actually, a friend of mine, Mike Gallardo, shout out to him. He uh, He's a DJ. Mm-hmm. And he came into my show. Actually, he was my Cinco de Mayo of last year episode. And uh, he has his own team. And that's what they were. They were the you know the, the shorts with the, the long jerseys. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I understand what that's you're saying. Pretty neat. So, so you guys still, confused, so. yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people thought it was funny, <laughs> especially for our first year, man. I think we should have, we should have chilled out for a little bit, but yeah, but no, nah, it was a good time, man. I could see why people enjoy it, man. You know, it's it was a pretty cool community. You know, people are out there supporting their yeah. dads and brothers and loved ones. You know what I mean? So I, I thought that was pretty cool, man. Yeah. So yeah, our our, our softball team is still out there. We're still mm. out there. Where do you guys play at? Different um, different locations. Well, you know, it's died down quite mm. a bit. Yeah. There was times when we used to play back in the late '90s, early 2000s. We used to play. Um. To, uh, M- Monday through Friday, mm-hmm. every day of the week, we would sit there and, and we would play. Then as the years gone by, teams just started to drop out. It, it was just, yeah, it's it just, uh, it's just dying out. Yeah. What really, do you, you know, think? It's dying out as far as uh, no, there isn't any more teams out there. Yeah, but why do you think it's dying out? Just the kids nowadays? Uh, no, yeah. Nobody wants, wants, nobody wants to do it anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the younger generation coming up is probably like, yeah, I'd rather play baseball than this. And if not, play you, nothing. You know, it's funny. Slow pitch, it, it, slow pitch is taking more. That's the more popular sport now, just the slow pitch, ah, is the okay. lobbing it. Got you. So yeah. that's still in. Yeah. Okay. So like what we're trying to do, I think we're going to try to do this this coming up summer. Cousin of mine who runs our family team, we're called Kansas City Los Indios. Mm. And uh, he and I, we had talked and uh, he wants to... Um, he wants to have a fast pitch game during a slow pitch tournament. Gotcha. So there's slow pitch. There's guys playing different fields, but we want this one field so they can get a taste. So yeah. people can see. Oh man, that looks pretty cool. You yeah. Know, I want. I want to try that. You know, and try to get some. Yeah. And, and it'll be an ex- exhibition game. You know, our team will find another team out there that. Uh-huh. That's another. There's another team out there in KCK. They're called State Line Los Locos, and they their family team. They've been around since the '60s as well, mm-hmm. '70s. And we may just say, "Hey, let's get our teams together. Let's play some ball in front of these slow pitch teams." And that's pretty. See cool, if we man. can we see if we can spark something up. See if somebody say, "Yeah," because there's got to be kids out there that see that energy. It's, I'm sure it's a different type of energy. It's you totally, know what I mean? totally different. Yeah, I mean, but you still get to drink and party a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah hey, that's yeah. always good. <laughs> oh yeah, and then, like I said, that's what we used to do. Until uh, mm-hmm. our generation got older, we were playing in these tournaments, mm-hmm. and, and there was we were uh, um, Mankato. We were Mankato, and we went for this tournament. We got up the it was an early morning because we'd party the mm-hmm. night before, even though we knew we had to play ball. Yeah, I mean we. So the two teams that played each other. Our team was the oldest team. The team across the uh, the field was a younger team. Mm-hmm. Umpires coming to our dugout, and they're walking around. They're checking our equipment because there's rules and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the guy says, "Man, it smells like Ben Gay up in here." <laughs> you know, he goes, "I walked over there, and it smells like alcohol in that dugout over there." <laughs> he goes, "So you could tell what which teams which which was the older mm-hmm. team." You know, we're all. Yeah, we're all hung over, but yeah. we all had the Bengay on. Yeah. And hey, nothing wrong with some Bengay. Man. I know, right? Shit. Yeah. Menthol. But, uh, <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, you guys might have a chance because those guys are still drunk over there on that side. Yeah, that's so, yeah, funny. We'll get this. We'll get yeah, this. so I'm 32, and I, I get what you're saying because I have seen, I feel like my, around my age, the people around my age kind of seen the outside era where kids played outside. Yeah. And then – in the middle of like, I want to say I hit my teens. That's when like, I mean, video games are still prevalent before that, but that's when it started like the online gaming and stuff yeah. like that, where kids were like not yeah. going outside at all. Like right? it was like, I'm going to talk to my buddies on the headset. We're going to be on for like five hours a, <laughs> a day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you stop seeing kids outside playing, you know what yeah. I mean? And even now, you know, I, you know, my daughter, you know, she, she's able to go outside and stuff like that and find some kids that are still, but I mean, they're out there on their phones and, I know, it's, you know, it's, it's like, sad, man, cause, yeah. you know, like on my podcast, we like to talk about memories and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And we were always outside, you know, mm-hmm. and of course, it, you know, we're talking the eighties, late seventies, mm-hmm. early eighties. We're always outside, especially during the summer. Mm-hmm. Well, hell, I mean, even after school, you come home, you do your homework. Bam, we're going outside because we're playing oh, football yeah. on the street. Mm-hmm. Or we go to uh, Franklin Center, which is over a block over. That's 
where a lot of us grew up in the hood. Mm -hmm. we, and that's where we did our basketball, volley, whatever sport we wanted to play, we would do it in this in this uh, playground. Where, where's that at, the Franklin Center? It's in, in the Argentine district. Ar oh, so that's where yeah, you grew up? Yeah, yeah, okay. I grew up in Argentine, yeah. Gotcha. And Franklin Center was just the spot. It was the spot. It, you talk to people from that area, oh, yeah, I used to play basketball down at Franklin Center. We used to play tennis, baseball. We'd set it up, you know, we'd paint the diamond on the concrete, you know, and mm -hmm. that was just the spot. Yeah. And here this past summer, it caught fire. Oh, really? Which which was crazy because I had an episode with a cousin of mine. She told me she went to school there, and I was like, oh, this is cool. I didn't know you went to school at Franklin because it used to be a school. Yeah. And very next, or after that episode hit, a week later, People were texting me, dude, Franklin's on fire. Franklin, I mm. mean, my phone was blowing up because they all saw that episode. Yeah. They're like, you just talked to your cousin Julie about Franklin. It's on fire right now. What? I was How so did it catch on fire? I, electrical. They said uh, it was electrical. I didn't even know it was still running. So damn. apparently there was still power in there. Yeah. But sounds so like right a, now, sounds like an insurance it's still thing. up, right? <laughs> I know, right? It's still up. It's a stone building. I mean, it's an old freaking school. Yeah. It was probably put up like mid 1800s. And it's it's stone. It's it ain't going anywhere. Mm. But the roof, of course, is what yeah, is, was collapsed. Burnt. So now you drive by there and you see like three giant tarps sitting on top of this on top of it. And it's supposed to be they're supposed to be fixing it up. Are they? I've always told everybody, I said, man, if I ever hit big, I'm buying it some bitch. Yeah. I'll buy it. I'll turn it into something. Whether I I turn it into my own house uh -huh. or uh turn it into something useful, you know. Yeah. Uh, Maybe for the kids or the yeah, community? Yeah, for the kids. Or even somebody had said they were trying to turn it into an, like an old folks home. Because mm. it's an old school. So there's rooms. Yeah. You know, there's I think it's two levels. And all the classrooms are, you know, they're still there. Yeah. 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 That's so, yeah. So back in the day, they we used to play there. But they also turned it into a small grocery store. Mm -hmm. Then across the hall was a little nice little coffee shop. We'd go in there and have lunch, yeah. ice cream, whatever. It was, yeah. It was a spot. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was really cool to be in the area. Let's take a break real quick. Okay. And we'll be right back. Yep. No problem. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. In house studio. You know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you are the host of the Big Mod podcast, right? Yeah. And I want to tell you, I enjoy it very much, man. I, Thank you. You guys like what you were saying earlier about going down memory lane. Yeah. I mean, that hits me, man, because we forget so much. Growing right. up, you know, even me, like, I wish I would have took more pictures back then and recorded stuff more, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. or really sat in the moment and enjoyed what was going on, you know? Right. And just, you know how it is when you're in the moment, you just don't really pay attention. And yeah, you're, it's, yeah, it's you're pretty cool, right. you know, that you guys can, like, bring on old friends and stuff like that, kind of relive memories and stuff. Because even when I was listening to some of your stuff, it's like, you know, some of it's relatable, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like you have the same experiences or the same things growing up, you know? So it's kind of cool when you talk about it because it's like, oh, damn, I forgot. You know, yeah, we used to do some yeah. shit like that. You know what I mean? So it, yeah, it's yeah. pretty neat, man. So, you know, how how this all started. Uh, so the big the big modcast, mm -hmm. like I said, I enjoy doing it. Uh, for So when we started, I had my son Marcos with me. Mm-hmm. And we went a good 72 episodes with Marcos. Mm -hmm. And then it came to a time where he was like, you know, dad, I want to take a break. I, you know, cause he's, he's working nights. Mm -hmm. And then I know that feel during the day, during the day, he, Business. he also does commercials. Mm -hmm. You know, he's in that, that world. And, uh, he just actually did a commercial a few days ago, okay. uh, for big breakfast. Mm hmm. Oh no, big biscuit. Sorry, big biscuit. Big biscuit. Yeah, yeah they're opening up one kind of like in our neighborhood. Close yeah, he's to where trying he to be school. like an actor, right? That's yeah, what he's yeah. pursuing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, he did commercials with. Uh, I'm sure you heard with uh, Mahomes and uh -huh. Kels and. Coach I think Reed. I heard a Dairy Queen one one time because yeah, I used to listen uh, to him a long time oh, ago okay. when he did his podcast, the No Solutions one. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to follow them pretty regularly. Yeah. So yeah, so you know, I'll, I'll backtrack here and then I'll get into how mm -hmm. I got into it. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Marcos, my nephew, Isai, and Isai's sister, my niece, mm -hmm. Mia, were doing that podcast, the No Solutions podcast. Yeah. This was back in, I think, 2019. 20 yeah, you were on it, right? Yeah, I hit, I hit it a few times, uh -huh. which is which is pretty cool. 
I'm glad they asked me to do it. I think yeah. my first appearance was uh, was a phone call. Mm. They had, they had to ask. They either had to talk to me or my wife about something. So oh, okay. that was my first taste of a podcast. Right? That's cool. But I was so proud, so proud that these guys did that. Yeah. They just the three of them here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just throw some money. Let's get some mics. Let's get mm -hmm. some boards. Let's get a switchboard. Let's get you know everything we need for a podcast. And they would do it like you know just like you and myself would do it in our home studios. Mm -hmm. But they were they did theirs in uh like the garage or something and and I thought they did well. It, it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then finally I was like, uh, you know, they're like, Hey uncle, you uh want to do your own podcast? I said, dude, yeah, it's a dream of mine. Mm -hmm. Really. But so for me it started I was a huge I don't know if you know have you ever heard of these shock jocks named Opie and Anthony? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Opie yeah, Joe Rogan Anthony. talks about him a lot. Yeah, yeah who's oh Joe? Yes, that's yeah. right. Joe Rogan yeah, he does. talks about him a lot. Yeah, and I never personally heard of. Yeah, like listen to their show. But so they had a they were just a radio show, mm -hmm. but they were a little raunchy. They were doing some things where yeah, every other two three years they would get suspended. Kind of like Howard Stern style exactly. type stuff. Yeah, and what's funny about that is Opie and Anthony and Howard Stern bumped heads all the time. Oh, did they? they oh, they could not. Howard Stern could not stand those two because yeah. they're a little younger. Mm -hmm. And they're blowing up yeah. in Boston, yeah, in uh, Long Island. You know, they're in New York. They're, and man, that a guy uh, that I work with, he introduced me to them. He said, "Hey, man, you need to check out these guys named Opie and Anthony." I was like, "And it, it didn't what click, year was this? It didn't click in my head. I said, Otis, what uh, Amos and Otis or who? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, Opie and Anthony. I'm like, what are they about? So he he told me what they're about." So the only way we could listen to them was through XM Radio, because they ended up getting a contract through oh, I remember, XM Radio. I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, right. The XM Radio, and so they had their own show. Then we all got hooked. All of us, we all chipped in, you know, to listen to these guys. We all had our headphones. That shit wasn't cheap back then. No, was it? not at all. I remember the only time I would have it is if I bought a new car. <laughs> like if I had a new car, I got a free year of XM oh, Radio, yeah. and that was only one time I and, bought my first new car. And so when that yeah. year would expire, you'd go mm. get you another car. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't get, get I wouldn't get, get another, another car, but oh, okay, yeah. but I'd be SOL on XM yeah, Radio. Funny. <laughs> yeah, it got but I, I was never a real big Howard Stern fan yeah, growing up. Neither neither was like, I. Like I seen some of his shit, but I don't know, man. I was more of I just thought he liked to just make fun of people on there right. and shit like yeah, that. Which yeah. some of his shit was funny, but. It just didn't really catch me like podcasting did when it came out, like Joe right. Rogan and all that stuff, you know, T F K. And you know, Opie and Anthony had Joe Rogan on their show a few times. They were friends. Yeah, he's talked about that. And I don't know if you know this, but Joe Rogan to this day says they are the reason why I podcast. Yeah, he said they were the godfathers of yeah, podcasting. Yeah, exactly. Because yep. they would do like you and I, we're just chilling here. Yeah. Open and Anthony would bring in their all their comedian friends. Mm -hmm. They'd have five, six guys in the studio mm -hmm. and just roast each other or just talk about current events or yeah. what's going on in the news. But, dude, I mean, talk about my days would go by fast. Listening to those guys oh, four yeah. to five hours. And, I, you know, I would just sit at a desk and work. So I'd listen to Were them. Were you still at the same job you're at now? Yeah. So yeah. what do you do? So right now I'm working in the uh, R&D department at uh, Universal Engraving. Oh, okay. We're in engraving business. Nice, nice. So yeah, we're almost in the like, same business. I do machining work. So Okay, yeah. It's, yeah. it's almost... Well, nowadays, it's all machines. Yeah. The machines CNC are taking machines. over. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I do. You run them CNC machines? Yeah. yeah Sweet, yeah. 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 I do a lot of 5X's, 4X's work. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, so we yeah the we have, man, I, I'd say at least 12 to 15 mm -hmm. CNC machines. Do you? Yeah. But you guys do engraving building. stuff only? And it's, yeah, that's how we do our engravings. Huh. Damn it, man. And I had an engraving and I was going to bring it. Yeah. I cleaned it up. It was one of my first engravings that I did. Really? But I was, I used to do it by hand. Oh, okay. I was an engraver. We would do things by hand. This is in the 90s. Like what? Like those pneumatic? Uh... It, it was just like a, you know, with a Dremel. Yeah, a Dremel. It's, okay. it's kind of like that, but these were air grinders. You'd hook them up to air. Mm -hmm. You put a bit in it and, zzz, and then you sit there and you remove metal. Well, I've seen, because right now it's real popular in the lowrider community, so they're engraving all the parts. Like, if you ever look at, like, uh, some of the motorcycles or yeah. some of the lowriders, their wheels are all engraved, their bumpers yeah. are engraved, and how they're doing it is they've got this, like, pneumatic machine, and there's, like, a bit on the very end of it, okay. but it's not like a Dremel. And I don't know, I think it just goes back and forth, because a, a Dremel will rotate, you Correct. know? 
So this one, it's like I think it's just going up and down, up and down, almost like a tattoo gun. Right. Yeah. That's what but I'm saying. they'll they'll peel the metal yeah. off, you know, and it'll get that nice V shape engraving on yeah. it. So, so I, I thought that was pretty neat. But our stuff, we make stuff for like airplanes, so bigger oh. stuff. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have a friend of mine who left us. Mm-hmm. And he went to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty good. Decent money, man. I mean, yeah. It's, I agree. Days, you know, it's kind of a dying art, to be honest with you. Nobody's wow. really getting into it because you know how that field is, man. It's kind of like it's not backbreaking, but it's dirty. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, the conditions you're in, all that shit. You come out smell like metal and coolant and stuff. So. It's funny you say that, man. Yeah. I hate that smell. Um, I have to throw my clothes in the garage every time I get home. Man, I, I'm glad you bring this shit up because, <laughs> dude, so Marcos... Speaking of Marcos, he works with me, but he mm-hmm. works nights, and he runs the CNC machines. And what he's doing is yeah. they're shaving metal. Yeah, we uh, we work with uh, quarter inch uh, metal, and mm-hmm. some of them we just got to shave it down to yeah. precise, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's what he's doing uh, on steel as well. And he and he smells like steel. Yeah. yeah, and I got you know, and he's living with us right now because uh, he was living with a, a buddy of his. Him and his buddy had a, mm-hmm. a, a an apartment in. Uh, Hey, that's a long story. But anyway, so he come back home and, you know, he's saving up some money because he's getting ready to move out here yeah. in the near future. So I said, son, take your jeans, take your hoodie, put them outside. You never noticed the I smell s- when you were out there? No. That's really? the thing. Though. That's the thing. Because right now, so we have two buildings and I'm working in the R&D department now. So I've been there 30, going on 35 years. R&D, what is that? Uh, research and development. Oh, uh, okay. So okay. I went from you know the yeah the floor dirty up to the to office, just yeah. sitting there and thinking ideas and that's awesome. Working with a partner of mine and yeah, we still get dirty. We you know if we well things yeah. that we have to do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he he smells like that. I'm like, son, put your clothes outside <laughs> or throw in the garage or. He goes, Dad, you treat me like an animal. I said, because you are a fucking animal. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, man. Yeah, that that smell, dude. I I. I hate it, man. I mean, but really, it's just because you know, if he's running at CNC, just those those tools, man. I mean, yeah. they're running at five thousand, ten thousand, right? twenty thousand RPM, and, and it's just cutting through that metal. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And, and so we have steel plates that he's got to sit there with the door mm-hmm. and just sand it and sand it, and all that dust is just get. Yeah. So yeah, I told him, I said, dude, just we have coveralls there made out of paper. Wear that. We have aprons. Wear that. So he's starting to. It'll probably, shit out. it'll probably help with the uh, not getting his clothes dirty, but I don't think you can get rid of that smell. No, man. you're not. I mean, even when I wash my clothes, I mean, it's, it's like it's still, still has that faint smell to right. it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And it's weird because some people, don't, it doesn't bother them. Like, you know, my family never says anything about it. Of course, I don't put my clothes inside, so they right, never yeah. really get that full. But they're like, but you can, I mean, I feel it on my skin, you know, from the yeah. oil and the coolant and stuff like that. Because when it's cutting, it's evaporating. Right. And it's, where's it going? You know, uh, if you have a it's good, right here. yeah, I, you're you telling know? me, man. And I'm, in, I'm 35 years well, in. tell your son, whatever he does, right. close that door. And when you, because a lot of guys, they'll open up that fucking door after it's done cutting. And that fog that comes out of your, <laughs> they'll just... Oh man, it's so bad, dude. It's oh, like, and they don't think about it, you right. know, because it's not like it hurts when you inhale it. But right. fuck, you inhale that shit over twenty years. I mean, I know. I mean, you know how many people die of lung diseases that are exactly. machinists? I mean, yeah. it's it's bad. The carbide and all that shit. Right. That, you don't want to inhale that stuff, man. Yeah, I, you're right. You know, I knew a guy. He was a tool room guy, and so he would like uh, do all our tooling stuff. You know. Grind down tools, uh, cut off tools that were too long, neck down tools. Yeah. And he was just that old school guy that I don't need no fucking mask and all this right, shit. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, whatever, dude. You and know, shit. He, he, uh, he inhaled that carbide dust for fucking so long, man. He ended up getting this thing called black lung or something like that. I mean, you know, he'd been in machining for shit. I don't know, 30, 40 years. You know, you, with you saying that, man, that, you know, that takes me back to my father. Mm-hmm. I lost my dad in 2017. Um, and he worked at the railroad, the Santa Fe Railroad, welding, and mm-hmm. you know later on you hear that what is it, as- asbestos? Mm, asbestos. Yeah. It was in his lungs, and it gave him cancer, and mm. so everybody's like, you it used know to what? be an insulation too. Right? Yeah, yeah. Old, so old insulation. You know, we, you know, that we sucks, kind of man. sit there and think about it, like, man, he's breathing all that shit in. You yeah, know, man. I mean, dude, and there's people at my job, man, and they're strictly in the D Burr department. So they're grinding on fucking aluminum and titanium man. and steel. Yeah. And we've got downdraft tables. 
you know, it helps, you yeah. know, but they're coming out looking like the Tin Man. I mean, <laughs> right? I'm like, man, dude, all like just gray all in their face. They look like they've been in there polishing wheels. Like, Jeez. and I see some of them, they're so young. And, you know, I try to talk to some of them that, you know, that come up and conversate with me and. I'm just like, hey, man, you know, I ain't going to tell you what to do, but you might want to put a mask on. You're young now, but here in about 20, 30 years, you're going to be feeling that shit, yeah. you know? Because, I mean, you know, 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day inside there, deburring, just grinding on shit all day. It's like, that ain't normal. You know, right. you ain't supposed to be doing that all day. But. No, yeah, you're right. And, you know, we we work a lot with air. air mm. Yeah, air power tools. Air power tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you had the air gun, shh you know blowing stuff off i'm oh, sure yeah. you guys do that too oh yeah i have to wear uh i wear noise protection dude cause... see and that's that's you know i'm not i'm not i i'm not blaming my job why i've mm -hmm. lost hearing mm -hmm. so here few well, it was probably 2015 i developed this disease called meniere's oh really and it's a uh, uh i was getting vertigo i mean it was tearing me up man Been there, the man. vertigo and trying to figure out what it was and then so right now so like before we started i you know we were talking about the earphone the, mm -hmm. the headset so the reason why i wear them is so i can focus on listening on hearing you know everything that's going on in on my podcast which i'm doing fine here yeah how is it right we're now? talking loud yeah well now that i'm talking telling you uh -huh. i'm so what i do I, I, i've lost 80 percent of hearing in my right ear really but Right now, since I'm talking about it, mm -hmm. I hear this ring and white noise. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm hearing right now. So hey, that's what Meniere's is. If at any point, if you want to put on the headphones, you uh, let me know. Okay? okay. Yeah, we can do that. Um, uh, so, and then, so that's 24 7, 24 7, that ringing in my ear. Now that I'm talking about it, it's loud as fuck. Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. It's, mind's a powerful thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, it's in so that's how the vertigo came in so then people are saying well you know it's probably all the loud noises that you did at work and could be could the, not. the air noises is yeah. bad very Cause bad i used to because i used to take metal off the cnc machines after mm -hmm. our, the machine was done i pull metal off the off the bed spray everything and off. just start spraying uh yeah. airing take the air and it's loud because you're in this you're in this machine you're in this hollow machine right and you're yeah. like, and it's loud but at the time, I was like, hey, it ain't going to hurt me. And then later on in life, I'm like, shit, no, I can't hear anymore. But Well, so I have the same story because I have hearing loss in my left ear. Okay. And uh, I had hearing loss from when I was younger. I had tubes in my ear a lot oh, uh, okay. installed because I had a lot of uh, ear infections when I was younger. So I lost hearing from that. But it accelerated even more because I was that guy that didn't wear hearing protection at work. And some of the shops I worked at were so small. There'd be a bunch of machines. I wear headphones at work, listening yeah. to a podcast. That didn't help because you've got your podcast, you know, turned up all loud, you know, and with yeah. the machines running and then with the air. And uh, one day I'd gotten vertigo, never diagnosed, but it, I knew it was vertigo. Yeah. It literally felt like I was going to fall over, like yeah. lost all motor, like balance and yeah. everything. You know, it scared the shit out of me. So I, I seen a buddy of mine. He had these bone conduction headphones. They play through your temples. Right. And I can put uh, a 3M earplugs in. Yeah. Ever since I did that, man, when I get off of work, I don't feel drained as much. Like, because you don't realize it. Like, you think you're tired from work, but it's the noise that's just draining you you know yeah, if you yeah. just constantly hear like just yeah. machines running all day long you know you know you don't realize it but that can be mentally fatiguing you know hmm. and since i started incorporating that i think i started doing that back in like 20 i don't know 17 somewhere around there but um it's really helped really helped a lot so, and i recommend it so you still wear those now yeah, you, they wear here. Yeah, but you put you put earplugs stopped. in, but you wear. Yeah, I'll actually show them to you today oh, before you leave. Well, because I have friends that wear those as well, but they don't wear the earplugs. Oh, I do because well, because I can't hear them because the bone yeah. conduction's so low. Yeah, and it helps because I don't have to have the headphones at a hundred percent loud, like the loudness, you know. Yeah, and so I mean, because if you think you've got that at a hundred percent, and then everything around you, I mean, you're just killing your eardrums. And what goes on is yeah. is that my ears. So this one's real sensitive it'll start crackling and making the buzzing noises that yeah, you're talking yeah, yeah. about. Exactly. Anywhere, if I go to a concert, it's right next to, like, it'll start crackling and it 
fucks yeah. with me a little bit. Yeah. So ever since I started doing that, I just it's just helped me improve my ear. You know, sometimes it'll get to the point if I hear loud stuff for so long. Yeah. I mean, it'll hurt like for a couple of days. You know what I mean? Like right. real sore, real tender. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird, but. No, but yeah, I so I, I get it, man. You know, and and yeah. uh, it, it's it's a big thing, man. I mean, hearing loss in a lot of manufacturing jobs, man. I mean, it's you know a lot of younger people don't think about it, and you know jobs they'll inform you on it. Maybe not back in your day when you first started, right? Yeah. But now they do. But it's more of a you know it's a choice. You know you got to want to pay attention, and you know when we're young, we don't nothing's gonna know, hurt yeah, me. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> we're in the struggle. Boy. Yeah, nothing's gonna hurt me until you're. You know, yeah. 50, 60, and then you're like, you know, it's yeah. catching up, you yeah. know, or even me in my 30s. You there know? you go, yeah, and I'm in, getting ready to hit my mid 50s. And yeah, how's that, man? I'm feeling it. That go by quick? Yo, oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it went by really quick. <laughs> and like I said, and then especially being there 35 mm -hmm. years, you know, 30 plus years, because I started with this company and uh, I left after my fifth year. I left for about 40 days. Mm hmm. Yeah, I went to go do some. I thought I can work in a fucking freezer at twenty below, Ooh. At, in the middle of the night. Fuck that! I went Hell. back. I went back. <laughs> My boss was like, "When you're ready to come back, your time card is going to sit right there. When you're ready to come back from fucking working in the freezer, yeah, just call it back in and we'll work something out." Sometimes you got to go out did. there and see Try what's something. out there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I've had it. You know, because shit, I got. I've been doing this shit for thirteen years. You know what I mean? And yeah. There was a point where I got burnt out and I went in construction. You know, I've been around construction my whole life. You know, family members in construction. Yeah. And all my friends do it. But uh, I'm not saying I like what I do because I don't really like what I do. You know, I'm not I'm not necessarily like a floor guy. You know what I mean? Like I've right. done my time. I'm ready to move up. How my brain works. I need, I need it to be working. And at some point when you're just running those machines, it just gets so you know groundhog yeah, day no, you know what i mean it's like yeah, yeah but i just haven't kind of found my place yet so i'm still looking for that you know which, yeah it'll you're come you're still young you're yeah, yeah it'll, still, you still, you still it'll, it'll come you know i'm yeah. impatient at times so I, <laughs> I gotta learn to believe me i gotta, I gotta learn, learn to be patient you know? yeah but uh but yeah. what were you saying though back to your your podcast i know right sorry we, I, I, no, 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 you're good. I spot a web this a lot is, <laughs> this is all good this is all good yeah yeah um so yeah going back to the podcast um so yeah, when so COVID had hit, mm -hmm. and that's what stopped no solutions. They couldn't get guests in, you know. Cause, I mean, everybody I, was playing it I safe. I thought they started around that same time because I started during COVID. I started oh, in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I think they started mm -hmm. before COVID hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then so COVID kind of just slowed them down. Mm -hmm. So then they stopped. They just stopped for a little while. Right. Try to figure out things, and my nephew, his his brain's always working. He's mm -hmm. he's always. Uh, looking for something. Yeah, I need to meet him. I haven't yeah. met him yet. And so, so they were like, okay, so if we're not doing anything now. You know, let's take a break. We'll figure out what we want to do. Uh, then they went into, uh, said my nephew was talked with the team and they said, let's, let's get into uh, running our own business. Let's go. No solutions, productions, mm -hmm. network, you know, so then they ended up getting a studio and they're like, you know what, anybody that wants anybody that wants to have a podcast, we can help them. We have the equipment. Let them come in and we'll do their podcast. We can edit for them. And so that's where they're at now. No mm -hmm. solutions. Um, so that's how I got on board. You know, so then my my son was like, Hey dad, you know, you you've been wanting to do your own show. Let's do it. You know, mm -hmm. Just get it in there. I said, Have you doing? always wanted to do your own show? Yeah, yeah. You know, like I was since about, the Opie and Anthony since stuff. Since Opie and Anthony, yeah. they were uh, they were the ones that pretty much like what inspired Joe Rogan. That's what got me going. Oh yeah. And finally, I got that opportunity. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. You know, let's. So one day they're like, well, what's your po podcast going to be called? I said, everybody calls me Mod. Mm -hmm. The younger generation calls me Big Mod because my oldest son is Mod, so I became Big Mod. Of course, then my dad's like, no, I'm big mod. You're little mod, and he's little, little mod. You know, it, it, it went so on. So what's the mod mean? So is mod that? is, so what, in Spanish, it's Mario. Uh -huh. So you hear Mario, mod. Oh, mod. Mod, oh, yeah. Okay. So it's either mod or mar. You just put the D instead of R. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. when you roll that R, it sounds like a D, mm -hmm. Mario. Yeah. And so I even had cousins call me mod. Mm. Uh, and so 
my oldest son, and, and he says he, he still won't take credit for it. <laughs> but his all his buddies would call him Mod. Yeah. And they would all come over, come over to our house. What's up, Big Mod? What's up? So then they became Big Mod. Mm -hmm. um, so then the so then the pod, back to the podcast. I said, well, people call me Big Mod. Let's go, with, you know, the Big Modcast. Oh, I'm sorry, the Modcast is what I started. So then he says, like, all right, Uncle, that sounds good, you know. So then he Googled. He said, well, there's like 34 other uh, podcasts out there called Modcast. Really? I was like, no way. I said, well, fuck. What do I said, oh, let's go with Big Modcast. So then he put it in there. He goes, boom, let's go. Big Modcast. So people out there, you if you go in and you you put in at the Big Modcast, Shaquille O'Neal will show up. Pops up. You just put it in because really? Google thinks you're trying to say the big podcast. Mm -hmm. You put in Modcast. Shaquille comes up because he has a he has a um, podcast called uh, The Big Podcast. Uh, okay. So then you got to be specific, MOD, and then just hit search and boom. It'll, it'll when come I search up. you guys, it, it comes up, but I okay. subscribe to your YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So maybe that's yeah, why it pops up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's probably why it pops yeah, up. Yeah, that's probably why it pops so, up. So yeah, I just happen to be I'm guessing this is an today. original hoodie then? Yeah. What or about does, original hoodie? Or does it say big? So, what's it? Yeah, it says big. Oh, okay. I thought it said the Modcast. I thought that was like an original prototype. Big. Yeah, um, so my nephew's like, you know, and Isai, really good with the graphic arts. And he's like, well, what kind of a logo do you want? And I said, well, you know what? I said, I'm a huge Run DMC fan. Mm -hmm. So that's where you see the bars. Yeah, I've seen the Adidas in the yeah. background on your so, studio. Right, yeah, but here's the bars with, and then the three letters on top. Mm. So it says Run DMC. It's, so yeah. I kind of stole, I kind of borrowed. I should say you borrowed. borrowed it, yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> and... I said, let's put headset on there. So I drew it out. And then so he took it and he his first shot. Boom, tried it. What do you think, Uncle? I'm like, fuck, that's it. Yeah, I loved it. Let's yeah. do it. I love the headphones. I said, and we're gonna wear headphones. And yeah. if you don't want to, you don't have to. But I'm gonna wear them and they know why I like to wear them. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it kind of sucks you into the conversation yeah. too. And it sounds great. You oh, know, yeah. Yeah. You don't talk hear. over each other. Right, like yeah. yeah, like you said. Yeah. And uh so yeah, so that's why, you know, we I wore the headphones and we started mm -hmm. the big mod cast. So now back to mod M O D the acronym mod is, uh, memories often disappear. That's what I said. M O D mm -hmm. memories often disappear. That's right? awesome. Yeah. So when I started the podcast, I was like, okay, I'm just going to bring family in. I don't know how big it's going to get, but I want family members to come in. Let's talk about mm -hmm. our stories. And then I had another cousin involved. I'm like, hey, is there a way that I can send this to you? And can you put it on our family uh, Facebook page? Because I want the family in Cali. I want the family in El Paso. I want the family wherever to just go through our family Facebook page and say, oh, this is what Mario's doing now. You know, mm -hmm. and the stories are out there. And so, yeah, it's 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 been, you know, it, it's it's doing good things i'm bringing people in friends family then i started bringing people i i know somewhat you know and then so with having marcos mm -hmm. my second boy on my side he's learned a shitload about me yeah and about whoever comes in mm -hmm. so sometimes he's just looking and he goes dad i didn't know you were a break dancer yeah i was about to bring that dad, up i, I, I heard those you, stories dj <laughs> dad i didn't know you used to do this and that and i didn't know you played basketball with him and yeah. i didn't know you met him and so yeah so marcos learned a lot yeah and of course everybody that listens that tunes in you know yeah and so you hear a lot of franklin stories like my yeah. first episodes were franklin stories and then the break dancing, mm -hmm. you know. That's, yeah, I that's heard that. a lot of people wanted to beat you up because of your break dancing skills. <laughs> that's a, yeah, I know. It, it, it was, <laughs> you know, okay, you got. I don't want to fight. Let's just let's just dance against each other and have fun, you know. And, I do agree yeah. with. I don't know which son it was that was saying it, but it does seem like a movie, like an eighties, <laughs> yeah, you know, like actually a breaking movie. You know, exactly. What I mean? <laughs> yeah, and then you look at those those eighties yeah. breaking mm -hmm. movies, and I'd be like, man, that, I went through that shit, mm -hmm. you know, and. Well, I had a, a guy named Shug Easy on. I don't know uh -huh. if you checked that podcast out, but uh, he runs this um, uh, school, and I, I'm i sorry, I might get it wrong. I think it's sure. called uh, Breakthrough KC. I think that's what it's called. Okay. Um, it's out in Kansas, but he's teaching like the history of hip hop and the history of breakdancing. 
And I mean, dude's phenomenal. We talked for like three hours. Yeah. And just how much knowledge he has. Like he's not just here to teach your kids how to dance or, or break dance or, or different. I think he does different styles as well. But he's also teaching the history and the lineage of hip hop and all the controversial things. Like, cause he goes to like New York and like studies with some of these hip hop artists, like then they tell him these stories, yeah. you know, of like originating in the Bronx and all that stuff, you know, and uh, different styles and stuff. But we were talking about that movie Breaking because, you know, my dad was a big Breaking fan. And, yeah. you know, he turned my dad turned me on to African Bumbada and all that nice. stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, big fan of uh, of all that music back then. But you watch it and it's like nowadays and it's just like kind of surreal because it's like <laughs> these dudes are just out there you know, mean mugging each other and yeah, like, yeah. and they just start dancing. But, you know, it's not really my era, so I don't really understand it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But to you, you know, you it was your yeah, thing yeah. back that's, then. That's you what know? we did. We would, yeah. we would go. I guess back. I grew up in an era of like, they was just looking at each other and started fighting. No one started really dancing. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, you guys did like after that, you danced. Kind of like that, what's that flick back in the, was the 60s, the West Side Story, and they would dance instead mm -hmm. of fighting. Why not? Yeah. But yeah, that's what Marco says. And there's there's some episodes where he'd be looking like, man, I wish I was in the 80s. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have got to do stuff like that with you yeah. guys. And I'm like, that would have been weird, son. Yeah, very yeah, weird. You, how, how's that going to happen? Um, <laughs> yeah, but we used to go to, like, there's, there used to be this mall off of 635 in, in KCK, the oh, yeah, Indian, Indian Springs. Springs Mall. Yep. And that's where we would hang out. I caught the and tail end of Indian Springs like oh, yeah? when there was only like one shop open. <laughs> all right. You know, they yeah, sold yeah. all the Dickies and all that shit. I don't even remember what, <laughs> what mall know, that was. Right? That was back in my gangster Hell, days. <laughs> I know. We used to, I know there was just this, the small stores that were still open in there. Yeah. And then they turned it into a police station. Yeah, I think that's what um, it is now. Well, it's gone now. Oh, is it? The mall's, I mean, it's flatland. Well, yeah, the mall's gone, but I think the police station's still back there. Oh, well, yeah, I think they, I there's passed another by. building, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I go to work. But they were actually in that mall for a little while, then they moved out. Of course, they knocked the mall down, so they moved mm -hmm. out. Um, I heard that used to be the spot back in the day. It was. There was like, a, wasn't there a movie theater there? There, there was, yeah. yeah. And then they put a, two of them in there. You know, yeah. one was four theaters, and then they put a sixth one in there, and it was a spot. Mm -hmm. It was a spot. My yeah. my mom used to back in the day. She used to work out. There was a like a, they call it a fitness center, mm -hmm. and so my mom would be working out, and then my dad and I, we'd be there. Just we would take a walk through the mall, and there was yeah, there, there was this escalator, and there was a nice little maze for kids to run around. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. Yeah, it was it was the spot. That's cool. Yeah, it was it was really cool. And sometimes on Facebook, somebody will put up a picture, and then boom, everybody started. Oh, I remember that and i remember yeah. doing this and that and this. Real nostalgic yeah yeah, yeah oh, that's yeah. pretty cool hell there at the end of the days uh we're people were using it for uh like kind of renting the spot for like quinceanera practices yeah. and whatnot mm -hmm. you know so that's pretty cool yeah but yeah it sucks it's gone now but but anyway yeah. it is it is hey it at is. least with your podcast man you guys can relive the memories yeah man, and, and that's that's what that's well i that's mean what i like doing i, I you know what I do. especially younger people like i was saying earlier you know they they could look at it as kind of being corny like look at these old people talking about their memories and stuff like that but when yeah. you hit that age yeah and you know looking back man i mean it's beautiful man to talk about those memories right. you know to to have to to relive relationships with you know friendships and stuff like that with people yeah. you used to know back in the day see where they're at now right. you know what i mean and just kind of I don't know. It's just a good feeling, man, to be able to think back on stuff like that. You know, cool, yeah. cool memories, especially, you know, I mean, when there's such a huge time period in between, you know, right. I mean? it's not like this happened five years ago, 10 years ago. You're talking probably what, 20, 30 plus years. 30 plus years yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty neat, man. You know, um, and you guys have come so far too. 70. Like, what are you, 70 something? So, we, no, we're at uh, 80. We just shot 80 our 86. When did you start? Episode. Started, uh, what was it, June? Uh, it was in 2022, like June 2022 or something. So with the name, uh, you said memory. My, yeah, memories often disappear. So my, that's what you were gearing everything towards. Yeah. Is that? Okay. Yeah. And then you kind of sprinkled in then, just other yeah, guests. After, yeah, after about 72 episodes. And then that's when, the, that was the time when I, uh, uh, my nephew Isai, and he, he knew it was going to happen. Uh -huh. And we talked and he says, Uncle, I know when... When you're ready, you're gonna branch off and do your own thing, and that's fine. But yeah, and I truly appreciate him helping me out. Yeah, you know, giving me the opportunity. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's you know, much love to the NSP. Oh, for sure. Yeah, the yeah. NSPN network. 
and Marcos is still a part of it. My son's still a part of it. Mm -hmm. And he's still with me. He does the editing for me. Yeah. But he's still with Isai, and they go out and do do their podcasting. So he takes yeah. care of all your editing stuff. That, yeah, that's so very nice because thanks. Yeah, the he does the post edit sucks. Uh, I bet it's. I, bet, I mean, people see the podcast for an hour, two, three hours, or whatever, and they, but they don't understand the two days, three days sometimes that it can take to edit. You know, depending on how how good you were during the podcast. I mean, yeah. if, you know, I mean, if there's bumps and, you know, people, how they talk, sometimes you get dry mouth or, you know, yeah. all sorts of stuff, man. There's an endless laundry list of things and, you know, chopping up your videos and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's, it can be a monster, you know? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's pretty nice that your son does that. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. You know, and then like, in like, I had a guest come in a while back and they were like, oh, you know, there's a, something that is there some is there a way you can take out when i talked about this and that i'm like oh yeah let's do it mm -hmm. you know I'm, i don't want to put anything that you don't want out there mm -hmm. you know because of your job or because of your relationship with somebody oh, yeah. you might have said something that you know and so yeah so we you know it's easy to take care of oh yeah yeah, yeah man we'll yeah. have to hook up and maybe show you what 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 we use what yeah. uh format or um, yeah what we're using and maybe yeah, it'll, be, I would it'll that. be something that'll help you out. Yeah, I would you love know, that. I want to help you out just yeah. like you said earlier, you know, you want to help us out. You oh, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think that some information. I think that uh, helping each other, especially in the community that we're in, you know, podcasting. Yeah, there's a lot of podcasts around. It's a lot more sports based, you right. know, but uh, I mean, they're starting to pop up a lot here and there. But uh, but yeah, man, I mean, I don't see competition being necessary, friendly competition, yeah. but you know, it's, it's not needed to be hateful or to be, uh, having to, um, you know, just try to be number one. And I, like, I'm not for that, you know, right. and I'm here and to help like, you guys all out and all of us grow. Yeah. I mean, there's so much room here in Kansas city, you know, exactly. so yeah. whatever we can learn from each other, I'd love to. And actually I plan, I know, uh, John had asked, you know, for me to come on and, uh, Jake also reached out yeah. and, I'm planning to go around and make it on your guys' podcast. That's but, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, I'd, I'd love to have you in our. You oh know, yeah, yeah. I come appreciate and check it. Out the studio yeah. as well. I'm just working out dates and stuff like that yeah. too. So, and I like I told John, I said like, I'm not the most interesting person. So you know yeah. what I mean? Like I, I, I can talk. I can talk. I can. I ask a lot of questions. I've always been like that. Yeah. But. I don't have like a ton of stories, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, and maybe I, I'm a little self-critical on myself, you know? Yeah, I, and I think we all are. For know? sure, yeah. Like, and, you know, I do my podcast and there's just some times where I'm talking and mm -hmm. I'm like, God, man, I don't think that fucking made sense at all. And later on, you listen to yourself. I don't, do you listen to yourself? Do you watch your podcast? I have to because I edit them. Oh, I guess you do. Yeah. I guess you I right. listen to them but probably two or yeah, three there's, times. There's, there's people that <laughs> yeah. can't stand to listen to them talk mm -hmm. themselves talk i would prefer not to have to listen right you know what i mean it doesn't bother me now i think i'm just so used to it you know but i mean i'm not going to say that i don't listen to it and go i should have said this or i should have done this or how did i miss that you know what right, i mean because sometimes yeah. when you're sucked in a conversation sometimes you'll say something and it'll go right over my head you know right. what i mean i mean no like I you're sitting that. here right now there's distractions you can kind of hear stuff yeah. upstairs so sometimes that that'll mess you, with you, me yeah, you know you what i mean to, yeah mm -hmm. like, and but like i tell the, myself it's not going to be perfect conversations right. aren't perfect exactly. so i hear you i just got to take it and and i i've been i've always told myself since the beginning when i had my old podcast uh, when i did purple pill i will attract the audience for me yeah. you know what i mean don't change up who i am for likes and subscribers and all that stuff my following will come and even if it's a small following man i right. mean it's still i still should appreciate that people take the time out of their day to come and listen to however long they listen to my podcast you know right. that's neat you know yeah. i mean even if i only get 100 views i mean you pack that into a small place you know that's a lot of people <laughs> right <laughs> if you think yeah. about it so you bring you bring those 100 people who listen in his room yeah, there's so, a shitload exactly. of people exactly right. so yeah, that's no, pre that. that's pretty neat you know what i mean yeah. uh, and you know and it's hard you know how you know we're both long format conversations yeah and you know i'm sure you listen to the analytics as, or watch the analytics as well and it's you know you see the small durations they listen yeah. you know what i mean because you know there's yeah. just generation it's just so <laughs> right? short attention spans yeah. you know but I have been trying to help people that I've known around me, you know, that are like, man, your podcasts are so long. Treat it like a book. Do 15 minutes, 
30 yeah. minutes a day. Come back you know what I mean? Day. Come back to it whenever you want. In a podcast, like, you can find a gym inside of an hour long, three hour long, whatever it is, podcast. Yeah. I'm not saying everything I'm talking about is going to hit. But Correct. if you leave it on in the background, like I, if I'm working on my motorcycle, if I'm at work, I'll have it on. And I may hear something that goes, oh, shit. You know, like yeah. it brings back memories or I learned something or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. There's there's different. And you can only listen to so many songs, you know, like I love yeah, music, yeah. but I can't listen to the same music, you know, 30 <laughs> yeah, times yeah. a fucking day. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, and like I, I got a buddy of mine. Um. Uh, Sam Sparks, you mm -hmm. know, he's he's loyal. He he listens to all my podcasts, mm -hmm. which is cool. But he says he drives on either Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day. Yeah. He goes, and it's perfect. I I gotta drive across here, there, and mm -hmm. you know, And we're more relatable than what we think. Right. Even from different neighborhoods, even from different classes, even from different whatever it is. Mm -hmm. All of us have some probably some one little memory or similarity. With one right. another, you know what I mean? No matter where our backgrounds are from. So that's what's cool. And also, even if you don't have any similarities, if, if if you can only find one and the rest of it's not, you can learn something about somebody. You know what I mean? I think that's what's more, more beautiful than anything. Right, yeah. Because, you know, I've said it a thousand times on here. I wish I could live a thousand lives to live in different places and different cultures and different people just to see, like, you know, because I watch people. I look at people. Right. Not, not in a creepy way. All right? Not in a creepy way. <laughs> right. But – just to watch that person, you know, it's a human being, how they got there, what they went through, you know, what they think about. I mean, I think that's a, it's a fascinating thing. You know, that's right. why I like to do this podcast because I can have people on that want to talk. Yeah. I don't have to bug them, you know, at the store, you know, talk, yeah, yeah. you know, like holding them up or whatever, yeah, you I know, mean, you know, like, like I, they come here free choice and yeah. they want to talk, you know, want to yeah. get to know me or I want to get to know yeah, them, yeah. you know. Now, like I said, I, I appreciate, you know, you having me on. Yeah. I think this is cool, and I, I like your show. I, yeah, you know, thank you. Um, you know, and of course, what, you know, what cracked me up is when, John, when you when you said you had something in common about oh, the movies. Oh, the Braveheart, yeah. That dude. was so, I yeah. mean, that was so funny, because Marcos and I, when I asked John what's your favorite movie, and he said, <laughs> he said Braveheart, <laughs> and I look at my son like, he just said Braveheart. I said, there ain't no white people with that. <laughs> I mean, black people, and he's like, yeah. that guy. Do with it, you yeah. know, it was, it was hilarious. That was it was, funny it was, it was, it was so much, it yeah, dude. It's just and funny. John's, John's a character, gems like that. That was yeah. funny when I heard it. I started cracking the fuck up. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. this guy, you yeah. know, it's, it's just, yeah. And then when he when he came in, because I love that movie, man, I've always been a big break. I have the DVD upstairs, I used yeah. to have the VHS. I was telling him when it used to come in, remember the double, double VHS's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. back then, yeah, 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 like, yeah, it was a good movie, man. It, but see, that's what I'm saying, yeah. all of us come from different places. He's from St. Louis. You're from Kansas. I'm over here on Missouri. Yeah. And one little conversation kind of brought us all together. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I think that's kind of cool, you know? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, we did the, so we did, going back to our, I think we stopped at 72. Mm -hmm. So I was doing seasons, 12, 12, take a break, 12. Yeah, I see you I was getting frustrated. That. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't want a break. Yeah. I want to keep going. I want to keep going, you know? Mm -hmm. And my son, Marcos, was like, Damn, we gotta take a break. And I, I get it because him and Eastside, they the workload. They had other podcasts that they were working on. Oh yeah. You know, you know, John's podcast, mine, and then uh Heavy Breathing, and there's some other podcasts out there that they have, which mm -hmm. are pretty cool. And so yeah, so Marco's here a while back said, Hey dad, you know, uh, we're getting ready to hit this, we need to take a break. I'm like, what the fuck we do? We ain't taking no break. Mm -hmm. We're moving, dude. We're our seasons are not twelve anymore. Let's go twenty four a uh, season now. Right. I don't even want to do seasons, honestly. Yeah. Let's just keep going. If I can't do a, an episode or somebody says I can't I can't be there, you know, show must roll. You know, I have my nephew who is helping me now, my nephew Jose Contreras. Um, he is my producer. He's the guy in the background. He makes sure the cameras are all, all on and everything's mm -hmm. set and recording. Uh unfortunately when we started doing this, I think it was my fourth episode in my studio <laughs> and I had a Somebody come in. We did. We did the night. We everything was cool. Marcos does the editing. He says, "Dad, we had no sound. Mm -hmm. You know, just video, no sound." I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> so now I gotta get back to this guy, my guest. I said, "Hey, man." I said, That's my worst nightmare. I hate to do this to yeah. you, man. I said, "But you think we could do it again?" He 
I said, hell yeah. I, I enjoyed the first time. Let's do it again. That's awesome. I said, okay, yeah, we may do a little bit of acting. I said, but but now I'm going to throw in some other shit, mm -hmm. you know. You know, he tells Kinda me make about, it better. Yeah. he told me about something he does. I went in there. I already knew that. Now I'm like, oh, you remember that time when you told me this? Mm -hmm. Now we take it on another, go another rabbit hole, right? Yeah. And it worked out perfect. That's he awesome. enjoyed it. You know, he come in. Yeah, I always worry about that, man. You know, yeah. especially me being a one-man show. I mean, you even see me sometimes. I'm over here looking at all the cameras and right, stuff like right, that because right. my worst fear is that one of those cameras stops. And then I got to tell you, hey, man, can you come back? Like, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you I know? think, yeah. We, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, man. I mean, it's it, it's uh, there's definitely a lot of moving pieces when it comes to all this stuff. But Yeah. But, no, nah, man, that's awesome. More power to you, bro. Yeah, you, you guys are killing yourself, man. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I used to. I had another podcast in the past. I had like three co-hosts. Okay. Um, that came and that went. You know, I moved on to mine, and uh, but yeah, man, just fell in love did, with it. Did, did those guys do their own thing? And uh, I don't know. You the only one. Okay. No, I, they're not doing it now. Oh, you okay. know, so the po the podcast's still out. So you can yeah. go to uh, Purple Pill. Yeah, you can go to Spotify and yeah. stuff like that. How'd you come up out. with that name? Uh, not me. It was actually Justin, one of my co-hosts. Oh, okay. He, he, he called it that. Uh, Purple Pill is supposed to mean like... You know, I hear Eminem song that... that he had a song, Purple Pills, I think. Oh, really? Was no, this was more of... There's so many different meanings to Purple Pill. I mean, there's like yeah. those alpha stuff, Purple Pill, and Red Pill, and all that stuff. But okay. ours was more like the Matrix. So you had the Red Pill and the Blue Pill. Ah. One was supposed to put you back into the Matrix. One okay. was supposed to show you the truth. And our thing was, is there was kind of a little bit in between. So the combination of blue and red right. and purple. Yeah. So. Which is, which is funny you say that because mm -hmm. back in, back in the day, I was a uh, KU Jayhawk fan. No. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't go to school there, but I was a fan because they're in Kansas, whatever. Yeah. Um, my oldest son decided I want to go to K-State and my wife and I were like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> So he did his K State thing and he did really well. And I'm like, we're wearing purple now. Yeah. We're, we're starting wearing purple. Yeah. Blue and red. Let's go. Like, we're purple now. Uh -huh. Right. You know, some people don't like that. I say. <laughs> but anyway, some people are like, man, how do you do that? I'm like, man, I, I fucking put my son through college. Yeah. I'm about to say, you're supporting that your money, son. That money is right there in <laughs> K State. You know, and my youngest, my youngest kid, my daughter, yeah. Uh, it was between K State and Pitt State. In Pittsburgh, Kansas, and she chose Pitt State, which is oh, that's cool. which is all good. Yeah, you know they're both. Two How many hours. kids you got? I have four. How was that? Man? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, man, they, was it was it a busy. was it a, a lot dealing with? I mean, uh, I don't. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. How old were you when you had your first? Uh, what twenty four? Oh, okay, so you waited five to six. You waited a good age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was yeah. young. I was like was eight, I was eighteen when I had my first. Yeah, yeah. That was uh. I learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it, it, you know how it is. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So young let, kids. let me back to I was 26. Got married when I was 24. A couple mm -hmm. years later. Got 26. And then we had that's cool. my oldest. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So you were smarter. You waited a little bit. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I came off right off the bat, man. And yeah. I just, the best thing that probably ever happened to me, though. Yeah. You know, it changed me a lot. You know, unfortunately, the change so happened. you became happened. an adult, like, Really yeah, quick, right? I mean, sort Would of. Say, yeah. I still made a lot you of bad. Did, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, because yeah, you, you know, did your thing and if you think about it, my daughter kind of grew up with me. Okay. And that's the part I don't like. But at the same time, we have a good relationship to where she's older now, so she understands. You know, because yeah. you know, as a father, we all make mistakes. You know, Correct, as parents. Yeah. And when you're young, I mean, you just you don't know. You know what I mean? And right. I had four brothers growing up and my mother took care of everything. So I never right. had to really do anything. I didn't know how to raise a kid, you know? And yeah. um, luckily, you know, my wife was a very patient and she, she killed it as a mom. Like she was great, you know, natural yeah. to it. Me, I was more of like, holy, like, <laughs> like I don't know what to do here. You yeah. know what I mean? But you know, especially as younger kids, man, you know, it's just so hard with babies, you know, it's, it, it can be very, uh exhausting you know and and but luckily you know when they got older you know you you know i got older and you learn and you develop you know and, and i think that's the goal you're never going to be great when you start but as long as right. you're going in a forward you know position or forward movement mm -hmm. learn adapt get better communicate with your children you know yeah. um because they can teach you a lot you know i mean my daughter uh talks to me and you know we just i have to remember that she's a human being too and right. she has 
you know, feelings and stuff like that. We need to communicate back and forth. I mean, we can butt heads at times, you know what I mean? But afterwards, you settle down and you talk and you figure things out and you get better, you know? So that's been the good thing, you know, but, you know, a lot of people aren't like that. So it's it's a flip of a coin, man. How many kids do you have? I have two. Two kids. Yeah, I have two. And uh, so, yeah, man, it's, it can be challenging, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, that's why I always recommend everybody who I know now who are younger, like my brothers and stuff like that, wait. Just wait. You yeah. know what I mean? Everyone's so quick to want to have kids. Now, I think this newer generation is doing better at that. They're waiting a lot more, I feel like. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, you might be right because my boys. Yeah. I mean, I got, that's how I see it. You know, I see a lot of younger kids that without kids. Yeah, I got 27, know? 24, mm-hmm. 20. Mm-hmm. My boys. I think we're, I think right. also too, and, and then my me, daughter's eighteen. What me and John talked about is your relationships are hard right now. Yeah, the online presence, you know, it can be, it can be grueling. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we put our whole lives online now. I mean, we're all guilty of it now, you know. Right. But imagine being early twenties, teens, and putting your entire life on there. You know, so it's it's probably hard to try to find a yeah a partner out there nowadays compared to you know your day. I mean, it was hard right. during my day because my day, you know, was. When online shit started, MySpace and AOL and all that crap, you <laughs> yeah. know, so it just gets harder and harder, you know, and, you know, there's a whole line of things that you yeah. know, could. Yeah, I but, just, you know, I just want my my boys and my daughter to see mm-hmm. how I'm doing it. Yeah. And I'm hoping they, you know, they follow. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah sure. One day I, I, I would love to be a grandfather. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that'd be awesome. I, I have friends that graduated with me in 89 and some of them have three, four, five grandkids already yeah. and. Some of them barely just had their first grandkid. Mm-hmm. You know, one of my best friends, um, growing up, uh, I I was born and raised in Armadale, Kansas, and then went across the river to Argentine at the age of five. Met my first best friend, best friend, and he and I we still communicate. You know, he's actually one of my uh, sponsors. Oh, awesome! For the show, yeah, he uh, uh, gets me my my gear. That's awesome. You know? You know, he helps. Is that the concrete guy? Uh, no, the concrete guy is, he's the sponsor. Shout out to uh, Quinn Concrete Construction. Uh-huh. Yeah. He came on my show uh, when I was still with NSPN. And he's like, man, I love, I love being there. Mm-hmm. I love what you're doing. This is awesome. He said, how can I help you? Yeah, that's cool. I said, you, you serious? He goes, yeah, I want to help you do, I want to mm-hmm. help you succeed. I, you know, you got it. You got that fire. You, you, you know, you, I love what you're doing. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm like, all right, bet you know. So, That's cool, man. You have people yeah, so around you like that. Out. Who was the other guy? So, so Joe, uh, is Joe Quinn, who runs the uh, concrete construction. No, but the Quinn. other guy. The other guy's name is Greg Ochoa. He, uh, uh, okay. yeah, he's at a uh, Goal Fire Protection. Oh, that's cool. He has his own business. Uh, their business is they uh, install the uh, sprinklers and ceilings for yeah. for commercial and yeah. whatnot. You know? Restaurants and stuff. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he actually, yeah. you know, did all the Waterburgers. They oh, come in, okay. took yeah. care of all those. That's cool. Yeah, so. Like I said, a good friend of mine, he said, hey, Marty, you, you ever need anything, let me know. That's awesome, man. Hey, Greg, I'd like to get some gear. Yeah. Let's go. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So I, you know, truly appreciate yeah. those guys. You know, yeah, who, it's hard to find sponsors, to man. It yeah. is. It is very hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, even, I, have you ever heard of Bay Boy Sandwich? Mm-mm. Bay Boy Specialty Sandwiches. Uh, kid grew up in San Francisco, loved to eat their San Francisco sandwiches because they would make their breads in a certain way. And so he brought that tradition to Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Now he has his own shop up, awesome. up by uh, the plaza. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, right off of Holly Street. And uh, it's called Bay Boy. Man, if you're in that area, uh-huh. you find that place. I might have really, to. Really, really good Plaza sandwiches. don't look like it's doing too good half the time. Yeah, <laughs> so I, yeah, who I, knows I, how I, long it's going to be there? <laughs> really? I, I don't even mess with it. <laughs> yeah, you know? I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't go down there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I they just have see a nice a Italian of, restaurant that I like to hit down yeah. there. There's still quite a bit of shops. I just feel yeah. like it's not what it used to be really? down there. Yeah, I just feel like it's kind of slowly. Dying out? I don't know. I feel like it. I don't Sounds know. Maybe I'm wrong. Sounds like the fast pitch. Baseball. Might be wrong. Right. I might yeah. be wrong, but no, nah, man, that's cool, man. So you said you had four, uh, three sons and a daughter. Three sons and a daughter, yeah. That's awesome, man. I always wanted a son, man. I have two yeah. daughters. Oh yeah, so, the two yeah. girls. Yeah, house full of women, man. Yeah, you know, it can. It and was definitely wrong challenging. With that, man. You're blessed, though. You know, <laughs> no, it's a I am. You know, as long as they're healthy, I've learned a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I said, I grew up with all brothers, so yeah. I was going to ask you what, what number. Where are you at in the? I'm the one. Yeah, you're the fir- first. You're the oldest? Yeah, oh, in my okay. household. Yeah, I'm the okay. oldest. Yeah. Yeah, so I have four younger brothers. Um, 
they're actually ones who borrowed my truck. That's why my truck's not out. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> they're moving right now. Yeah. But, uh, but, but you yeah. had them on your show. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So the three of them. Uh, I have another brother named Dominic. Okay. He he hasn't come on yet. So, oh, okay. Uh, he should be on. He's supposed to come on at some point. But yeah. uh, but yeah, those were three of my brothers. Yeah, okay. Adriano, Madden, and Julian. And so, okay, cool. But yeah, man. So it, you know, it's been it's been it's been a learning curve. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you that. You no, know, but so. that, but this is awesome. You you got four. Bro- I mean, three brothers, including yourself, number four. Uh, mm-hmm. That's no, awesome. Four. I have four. Including so there's me. five of you. Five. Yes, oh, you five mean. of us. Yeah. Okay. Gee, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's. I don't think my mom and dad you, watch that's TV a fat, very that's much. That's five right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. You got a basketball team. That was one thing that I so said. My dad used to say. <laughs> really? That, that's one thing that I said. I told the wife. I said, you know what? Well, okay, we got three boys. I said, until we get our girl, then we'll stop. But if we don't, if we don't hit our girl, we're going to get. Where, another where boy. did she land? She was so last. She's my oldest. I mean, I'm sorry, my youngest. Oh, so you got okay. So she, yeah, she's okay. my princess. Yeah. So I got my three older boys and then her, mm-hmm. and that's when we said, okay, we're done. Yeah. You know, because I said, if we don't get the girl, and if we get the five boys first, then we can stop. Yeah. I want my fat five. Yeah. Oh, that's what sure. I would say. I'm sure that's what you think. Yeah. So, oh, that, that's cool that you got Yeah, brothers. I mean. Because I just, I just grew up with this, me for nine years, and then my sister coming to my, our lives. Oh, really? But, you know, I, I guess. So you only you, have one sister? Yeah, it's only oh, okay. two of us. Oh, really? Let me backtrack a little bit. Damn, back my in mother, the day, huh? The well, only two of us? Two but, of you? No, but here's the thing, though, bro. M- my mom, uh, diabetic at the age of 16. Oh. Full-blown diabetic. Really? She couldn't have kids. I mean, mm. she, every so there should have been um, seven of us. Really? I should have had, like, three brothers and sisters. You're right. There, there should have been seven of us. Three yeah. brothers, three sisters, and then myself. Really? Would have been seven. Uh, fortunately, you know, it's couldn't hang on to them. That's they, sad. Yeah, because of the diabetes. Mm-hmm. And back in the day, you know, you're 16, same thing, you know. It, it just, yeah, it was just something that That's her sad. and my dad just worked. And then so when I come around in 1970, I was born a month early. I was supposed to be born December 25th. Mm-hmm. Ended up November 25th. Then there was a few there between my sister until 1979 when my sister was born, and then that was. So I you, think you two I, are I you two are the lucky ones, man. Yeah, exactly, that, that's, that's crazy. Blessed. Yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah. my sister and I, we since we sit there. And you were like, "I'm gonna make up for it. I'm gonna have four. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna see if I can do this thing. Yeah, you that's know? funny. And that's cool. So yeah, I like to joke around. There's an episode with my sister. She comes in, and I like to joke around. The, mm-hmm. the first ep- before she come on the show. We talk about it. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. I said, my sister had to ruin it for me. I was a spoiled one, and she come in and just messed everything up. And <laughs> then they had to focus on her. And no, but I'm. How's it like not having no brothers though? What's kinda, it like? Yeah, does it, you know, it's kind of like you just used to it. Yeah, you never, you, know, you never wanted a br- like. I'm sure you probably I, thought like I yeah, want a brother. But you know what? I had so many good friends. friends? Like That's I was good. telling you, my buddy Greg Ochoa, who, mm-hmm. who's my you know, sponsor now, he was like a brother to me until right. he moved. Right. Then I had another uh, another friend who uh, lived up the street, and he and I were like brothers. Mm. And then now I have a cousin who are like, well, so I have my brothers out there. That's what I like to say. You know, I got That's my cool. brothers out there. That's good, man. Yeah, family is family is yeah know, the thing. To yeah, me and my brothers, we were kind of uh, you know just because of the ages, you know, we kind of do our own thing. They're a little younger. Um, Who's the youngest? The youngest is still a senior in high school. Okay, so yeah, so, my, my, yeah. Daughter, my daughter. But yeah. I noticed the older the older they get, the more we kind of come together more. Yeah. But I mean, I was eighteen when I moved out of the house. They were all little, you yeah, know, yeah, very yeah. little. I mean, my the one that's below me, he's we're only three years apart. But yeah. I mean, still, he was fifteen years old when I moved out, you know. Right. And then I went off and you know did my own thing and. But I've noticed as they've gotten older, we've come more and more together. Yeah. You know, so that that's nice. But that's good. Yeah. But yeah, and then uh, you know, son wise, I mean, I, I want to have, I would love to have a boy. Because, be honest with you, you know, man to man, I mean, yeah, you know, it's it, it kind of makes me sad. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because I, I wanted to have a little me, you yeah. know, that I could bring up and help and you know guide him through life and just kind of see me through him. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, like, you yeah, know, and, and, and I love my daughters. Like I'm not, I see them through me as well, but right. you know, 
they look like their mom. <laughs> you know what I mean? My, my youngest looks a lot like <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. but, but, and, and I still see it, but, and I wouldn't even care. I'm not saying they exactly look like me, but just to see a little boy and I could raise him to be a man, you know right. what I mean? That, yeah. that really, you know, and I love bringing my daughters up and raising them into women, but you know, it's just, it's, you know how it is. It's, it's yeah. hard to connect on that sense, you know, yeah. with compared to a boy. So, you know, maybe, Maybe in the future, but yeah, I'm running yeah. out of time. Look to you, man. Yeah. I'm running out of time. So yeah, I, I don't know. Right. And it's just so difficult nowadays. I mean, daycare is so expensive. Yeah. And you know how things, these are so. Yeah. And my, my, I have <sighs> nephews and nieces that have kids and they're, you know, exactly it's what you hard said. right now, man. I mean, shit, my uh, wife was telling me when she used to work at a daycare center, I mean, people are paying thousands of dollars a month. No. Nah. A month for child, for little, I don't even like ask. babies. Like, I think she was telling me, I don't even know. I mean, we were paying probably a couple hundred a week. Some of these people are paying four or five hundred dollars a week. Man, man that's, a, that's that's insane. Man, how, how, and you and they wonder why no one's having kids right now, because how do you how do you do it? And then you don't want to trust anybody to watch your right. kids. You see all the stuff that goes on. You know, it's it's, it's scary. Yeah. You know, but that was the one thing that we were pretty lucky. Yeah. That my mom would, my mom was a stay home mom. My dad was working at the railroad, and oh yeah, my all my kids were there. With but my now mom. it's hard to do that because of how expensive it is. Like, right. I mean, so, shit, you need two incomes now in order yeah. to even survive right now, you know. And you know, uh, I don't know how old your oldest. He's twenty seven. Okay, so he probably can see, you know, because he's not too, you know, too young, younger than I am. But yeah. I kind of seen the middle. You know what I mean? Because like. Back in 2013, I bought my first house with a hundred thousand dollars, built in 1995, 1700 square feet, two car garage, like beautiful home. Yeah. And now, I'm in I'm in this house, and I paid the same amount in wow. 2016. You know what I mean? Like, and now it's even worse in 2024. Oh, it's yeah. i mean you can't right, you get yeah. a house like this for 200 grand this house is little as hell you know right, it, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. just getting harder and harder you know yeah. so and i think that's maybe why you know kids are debating on whether they're having waiting. kids you know right. what i mean because it's just so so difficult right now yeah you know? very difficult but yeah. but yeah no, Time, we'll, yeah times times are tough we'll see yeah, what we, happens we you know yeah. but yeah you would probably know comparing it from when you had kids till now i mean you probably right. see you yeah know? that's why i said when i my nieces and nephews, they have kids now, how hard it is for them. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, because I try to think back. I'm like, damn, how did my parents have five kids, man? Like, how the hell do they do that? Maybe they were willing to make more sacrifices than I am, you right. know, which they, they did. Bo- both uh, both worked? Yeah, yeah, they're still together. Work. Yeah. Um, and no, I'm talking oh. about bus- uh, work. Did they both work. And I'm, my I'm mom going. off and on. Okay. She, she worked, but um, I don't know. I don't really remember. I Honestly, what I need to do. I'm very bad at. I need to get with her, and you like really go down talk. like memory lane. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. I, I think I fa- I failed at that. I need to get better at that. But I mean, she's she's very good at like sending us pictures through the phone and stuff like that. And our, when we're over there, she'll talk to us. And uh, but now, nah, yeah, you're right. I need to sit down with her and like really talk about stuff. Cause yeah, you should. I mean, my memory. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if I got a bunch of concussions back in the day or what. Dude, my let's memory talk. is jacked. Or I drank a lot. I mean, I had my my twenties was my you know party yeah. era. You know what I mean? So man, yeah, I don't know if I just partied all my memories away or what. <laughs> no, you you know you just brought up how we can go down this rabbit hole mm-hmm. of concussions. I shit you not, man. From my days, I mean, just right out of high school. Hell, I played football in high school, and I remember I did too. concussions. Mm-hmm. I remember one concussion in a freaking at at a practice game. It was our mm-hmm. purple and white game. Mm-hmm. They, ca- they called them we, stingers back then. Yeah, I, I had a con- <laughs> row some dirt on it. <laughs> right, I had a concussion in that game. I remember that mm-hmm. because I just took a shot from our biggest running back. He hit me. We went head to head, and he knocked me out. Helped me up. Mm-hmm. He helped me to the bench, and I, I that was all I remember. Just sitting mm-hmm. on the bench, and then I don't remember when we finished. And back mm-hmm. then, they didn't even check to see if I was okay. Not a trainer did not come over, take my helmet off, and check yeah. me and oh, sorry, no, check me and make sure I'm all right. I sat there with my helmet on on the bench until the game was over. Yeah, you know. And then after that, playing, f- then we we did the street football. But on the parks, right? Mm-hmm. We'd all get together and play against 
uh, Shit, some of those parks Central still Kansas. hard ass ground, though. right? <laughs> and holes everywhere. <laughs> playing up at our old high school on the field, I got slammed. I was a quarterback. I got slammed. Woke up three hours later. They let me sleep. Mm. They figured, oh, he's he, he doesn't look like he's going to do anything. Let's just lay him over there. Let's play our game. Cousin comes over, wakes me up. He wakes me up and says, "Hey, uh, you doing all right?" I'm like, "Yeah." I said, I'm good. Let's play. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. He's like, we're done, dude. I'm like, what time is it? He says, three o'clock. We started at noon. Damn. Three o'clock. I said, you let me sleep that long? He's like, you look comfortable. Shit. What if I wouldn't have woke up? Exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. And man, and sometimes I think the CTE or is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. I think it's fucking with me sometimes. Man. Yeah. It could be. I, I mean, think they, so. But it, I don't think, is there a way to test it? Or the only way you, you get you a taste it? Yeah. Yeah. That's Even the only dead. way. Yeah. So, I honestly, I'm gonna tell my open. kids. Yeah, yeah. I, if there's a way, I mean, like what? I mean, but I don't what, know if you can run a CAT scan. What, Maybe you could run a CAT what is scan. Gonna, but what is going to matter? You know, if I say, yeah, you know what? When I die, check my brain. I, it, 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 like it, they're going to say, Dad, damn, you were right. You did have. It CT. could help science. You it know what I mean? Science, I mean, yeah. you know, just see that. Yeah, I mean, that's what all these uh, NFL players and stuff like right. that and fighters are doing. You know, and they're, yeah. they're seeing it. I mean, shit, dude, I know some fighters that. You talk to them, and they've had a handful of fights throughout the years, and you can tell by the way they talk, or yeah. like even memory and stuff like that. Like, yeah, see, sometimes it's real. I, sometimes I it's think, real. Yeah. and even me myself, it's like, you know, my family or friends will talk about shit, and I'm like, I don't remember that. Where was I at? They're really? like, Nah, you were there. Like, yeah. we, oh, you must have been drunk or something. It's like, No, I don't. <laughs> maybe, but I don't yeah, remember yeah. that shit. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, that, it, but yeah, memory's a weird joke, thing, man. man. Memory's already foggy to begin with yeah so it's like another thing you start adding concussions and shit like that over that yeah but you know what's crazy is is i remember the back in the day shit Mm -hmm. but i couldn't tell you like i just did a podcast last night and there's times i don't remember what we talked about my wife will say so how did the podcast go it went good what you guys talk about i don't remember yeah you know sometimes like you said though but you're focusing on other things while you're talking well and it's hard during podcasts you know what i mean yeah. there's so many different topics that are in that amount of time and you're not gonna remember all of it you know what i mean yeah. it's gonna be difficult right. and you do so many of them think about it, you probably do what once a week you do it's one? One, one a week yeah, yeah wednesday so nights once it, a it, week that'd be hard to if yeah I'm, I'm one of those that if somebody says oh man bro i I go to school on Wednesday night. Can we do a Tuesday, Thursday? I'm like, yeah, let me talk to my team. We can work it out. Oh, yeah. That's you cool. know, and that's that's what we do. That's neat. Uh, I actually have uh, – are you familiar with Stranded in the City? It's a band. I've heard of them, yeah, yeah. because of the No Solutions. Yeah, I've heard okay. of them. Okay. So I have, I have them coming in. Uh, they couldn't all come in on a Wednesday night, so I finally worked it out. And they're my uh, cousins. Well, I say they're my nephews, but they call me cousins. <laughs> and um, – so my wife and their mom were first cousins. So So it's anyway. real real cousins. It's yeah, not yeah, the yeah, yeah. everybody everybody's a primo type thing, right? right no. here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so these guys have their own band and they're they're great. So yeah. if you listen to the music that's to start my show and to end my show. Oh, that's them? Yeah, that, oh, that's dope. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like, doom, doom, like doom, a Carlos doom. Santana type Yeah, vibe, yeah, that vibe, right? And I like I, that. And when I remember when they put that song out, I was like, dude, I love that song. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a whole lot of singing to it. Just, I've been riding around, riding mm-hmm. all over. And it's called Riding Around. And then I asked the lead singer. And I said, hey, man, I said, I'd like to use that in your show. In my show, can I? Like, hell yeah. That's awesome. So I used it again. That's hey, cool that they're cool like that, too, yeah, man. That's awesome. Because yeah. you... Because Some of them are cutthroat that, in this I know, world, right? you know what I mean? Because they did that for uh, NSPN, my nephew. Yeah, I remember that that yeah. that, that uh, intro hey they there, had. Hey everybody. Yep, yep. Yeah, they had that song. And so so I had them coming in, and I'm the whole band is coming in. That's awesome. And I'm trying to figure out. You should have them play a little on there. See, and I got something planned. Yeah, I, I'll, tell you, you go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do go. after okay. the show. I'll tell you what I'm, okay. I'm going to do. Uh, but yeah, I got some plan for them, and I think they're gonna they're gonna have fun with it. But they're all excited because mm-hmm. AJ and Antonio, the brothers, the Reyes brothers, it's their band. Mm-hmm. I've had them on my show, uh, and of course, the other guys get left out. So I'm like, I need to bring all you guys in. Let's That's do it. cool. So the other band member, the other three band members, are like, Fuck yeah, we're ready. I'm ready. We have done. You know, mm-hmm. they did a podcast years ago. Uh, but I mean, I like that you do like little games and stuff like that on there, like little yeah. questionnaires and stuff like that. I think that's kind of <laughs> yeah. cool. I like to do the games. I like to do. I think that's neat. Their top five. Yeah. What's your top five? And uh-huh. would you rather or 
Yeah. You know, they, there's little things. That's pretty I like cool, man. I, I like I that. I appreciate stuff. that. The jelly bean stuff, though, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. I, seen the jelly. I was like, man, I, I hope that, I never have to do that. I the throw up niece. jelly beans? <laughs> right. Yeah, I did that with my niece. Uh, no, I knew she funny. would. No, it's funny. I just hope I'm not the one that gets yeah, yeah, selected. Yeah. For that. Uh, but, well, I'll try yourself. it. I'll watch try it. Yeah. But I don't know about the throw up one, man. G- give, know, me the, the one give me the good like ones. Vomit. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, like, I'm good. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun. When, when we did that little game, I had four little brown beans. That's all I had was four, and there was four of us. Yeah. Spun the wheel and it happened to land on that one. Yeah. And it was liver and onions. Oof. Or cappuccino. Yeah. Oh, I've seen the So I got the cappuccino. I've seen the, the uh, three Mia. She she did the bean test or she had like a vomit one or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And there was, was one like, that was dishwater. Oh yeah. man. No, I don't even know how yeah. how the hell they make that. That's not how I'm I know, I know how right. Get that shit in there. Yeah. That's <laughs> how to make it taste like vomit, like Stomach acid. How the fuck you do? I don't know, man. That's actually a good thing to look up. Thank God we got YouTube. I know, right? <laughs> Shit, YouTube. But YouTube. hey, um, let's Go take ahead. a break real quick, okay. and then we'll come back. Yeah. What did What did you have here in this spot before you turned it into your little? Uh, nothing really. No. No, I I used to have like a TV down here. Sometimes I'd play games down here and stuff oh, like okay. that. Back when I used to play games, I don't really play as much anymore. But uh, no, I just have my gym down here. Really, nothing in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've been living here since like 2016. So, okay. That's trying cool. to get out, man. Are you trying to get out, dude? Oh man. And wh- where do you think you would go? Probably further north. Yeah. This area is just getting bad, man. The homeless yeah. problem right now is just. Is it wrong? Yeah, man. You know, I don't have anything against. Uh, well, I have some things against, but right. it's just. I mean, when I see guys close to my street walking around barefoot with scissors in their hands. I got two little girls, man. Yeah, you know, that yeah, shit yeah. scares the crap out of me, you know. There's a metro bus stop right here, so they like to hang out at those metro bus stops, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's just getting bad, man. I think they built some type of, um, whatever they go, like mission places, you know, stuff like that. I think they built one down the street. That's why there's such an influx of them. But, you know, there's one thing people have on hard times, and then there's other things when you're on drugs and just right, completely, yeah. you know, you've got something mentally wrong with you. You know what I mean? And, you know, I got to get I got to get out of there. Yeah. Just, you know, it's not bad necessarily in this area, but it's it's migrating, you know. So, I mean, I've had some weird stuff happening. I had a crackhead rested in my backyard, you know, and some crazy yeah. guy out there shouting out the N-word, you know, and – crazy stuff you know yelling at people right. just completely psychotic you know and i had a guy walking up my street with bare feet while i'm putting up christmas lights in the winter i'm like what the hell's going on and so then they, and then like the other day like they I said, come up and bother you like no they don't say nothing but really? and it it's very random in the since i lived here in 2016 yeah hand i mean th- those handful of incidences i mean well i did have actually a crazy lady come knock on my door at five in the morning, the day after Thanksgiving, man, you want to talk about creepy waking up in the middle of the night. Yeah. And my wife wakes me up. She's like, there's somebody outside. Damn. And, and I haven't drank in a while. Cause like I do these like tournament things for jujitsu. So sometimes I'll go a while without drinking, Okay, but I had just got one done I had finished one and I drank on Thanksgiving. I drank a little too much. That's <laughs> we what actually, happened. We actually, actually, yeah, we actually, no story we actually did a podcast. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, <laughs> they didn't want me to release it, but we were all on you here. You still have it? Yeah. Did you release it? No, I didn't release oh, but it. but you still have it, though. Well, it. yeah, because some of us were smoking and drinking and stuff, and some of them have jobs. They don't want it to affect them and right. stuff yeah, like no, that. I so. That. I, t- you know, they were my cousins and my yeah. brothers. So I was like, all right, I'll just, we'll keep it for us. You yeah. know what I mean? It's something we can look back on, you right, know, laugh yeah, about yeah, yeah. one day. No. Yeah. But that morning we went to bed at like, I went to bed at like two, three in the morning and I wake up at like five in the morning and she's waking me up. And normally I'm a light sleeper, but she, I didn't hear it. I must've just been passed out, you know, two hours of sleep. And we were actually supposed to go Black Friday shopping, and we didn't. And I woke up, and all I could hear in the eerie night, it was so quiet. He's going to kill me, a girl's voice. I fucking jumped up so quick, dude. Yeah. I'm, like, looking for my glasses because I wear contacts. I'm looking <laughs> yeah, for yeah, my yeah. glasses. 
I run to my gun safe and I fucking grab my gun and I go out in the in the hall or in the living room and I'm looking out the door and I see this lady right there and I'm not about to open the door. Like I don't fucking know if two dudes are gonna jump out and rob me or right, fucking right, rush yeah, me into my house. Up. So I'm sitting here and I don't want her to die, you know, but yeah. I'm just waiting. Like if somebody's gonna pop out, I'm gonna jump out the door and pop this dude, you yeah, know? Yeah. I see a truck come by and uh, she runs up to him. And I'm like, oh shit, that's probably the guy that's gonna kill her. So I'm getting ready to open up that door and uh, he ends up leaving and she runs up. The cops came down right away. I mean, we live in an area, cops are there like that. So you guys called cops real quick or what? Uh, she, my wife was calling. Yeah, oh. and I'm sure all the neighbors, I mean, she Seen was all, all, she ran from up the street. So. Um, and luckily the police department is like literally not, not too far. far. Yeah. And which is weird because they say most crimes happen around police. <laughs> police station. Yeah. It's kind of <laughs> weird. I guess maybe because they're not really around there. I don't know. Yeah. But they came quick. She runs up to him. But I don't know if she was on drugs or some shit or what, but they ended up arresting her. I don't even know if she lived here. I tried calling them and it was kind of like a phone tag back and forth. Yeah. So I don't know. I never even, you know followed up with them they'd call me i'd miss their call i'd call them but man dude i was just like oh i mean you don't you don't get too many of those up here i'm like man where the fuck did i move i moved up north i i didn't want my kids to be down in you know the hood and shit yeah, you know and i move yeah. up north and it's like everything's fucking following me up north you know <laughs> and you know because when i grew up i only grew up on the west side a small amount of time you know i think i was like middle elementary when i moved up north so okay. my my parents moved and um they wanted us to get us in better schools, you know, down there, schools are losing accreditation and shit, you know? Yeah. And, um, but just, you know, better area. So, you know, they sacrificed, you know, they didn't have much money, but at least they brought us, you know, they moved further and further up North. Yeah. But I'm like, damn, I tried to stay up here, you know, and it's, it's like following me up here, all this shit, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm not saying there's utopia places where yeah. nothing's going to happen, but you would think that I wouldn't have that many incidences, you know? Yeah. In, a, in the suburbs. Yeah. You know, we moved uh, to Shawnee, Kansas. We lived in KCK. Yeah. Moved to Shawnee, Kansas. Of course, like you said, the schools and whatnot, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we, our, our street's busy, and but nothing really crazy. But this past winter, I think the first storm to hit us, car come around the corner and hit my neighbor's mailbox. And then, or trash can, and then somehow this trash can had a giant rock on it mm -hmm. or something. That giant rock ended up in my driveway. Then the car was down another like 50 yards, and the gal is yelling at her boyfriend or whoever. It just, it was a crazy, I didn't hear it. My son, Chris, I don't know if you've heard him on the show. Yeah, I think I Yeah, have. he's the one that runs our board. Yeah. Wakes me up and says, Dad, you need to go outside fuck why something's going on you go outside and do it why do i have to do it <laughs> and he's like dad go outside something's going on I'm like all right all right get up i go outside trash can in the street giant rock cars up there mm. he's yelling at my neighbor across the street it was just some i was like fuck it's too cold to be out here yeah i'm going back to bed mm -hmm. you know well back to bed i was laying in the fucking recliner the wife, um, her recliner my just knocked out <laughs> knocked out yeah like old people yeah that's yeah. that's what we do i'm like man we're getting old what ended up happening i don't know, don't know. that was it i never I asked know. my neighbor what happened yeah i just looked out the window and my neighbor comes out and mm -hmm. the guy that lost his trash can they're both standing in the middle of the street and i'm like all right you guys are warm they look like they were warm but they were wearing i just went out there in a t-shirt just trying to all right what the hell's going on and mm -hmm. why is there a rock in my driveway and and this rock was like this big i don't, I don't know it was just weird that weird shit sometimes yeah man. and that i had a car drive down our street and he was just going up on the grass <laughs> in and out and i'm like and i'm standing a, out there right more i i guess <laughs> he just kept he would i don't know if he was drunk yeah up on the grass back in the street up on the grass, but in people's yards like like well only one side like one one side of the tires, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. But still, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I'm standing out there and I'm looking at him, watching him go. And he, he even came up onto my arm. I'm like, hey. Gonna, yeah, I was getting ready to ask him. What the fuck? Your... So he's like touching everybody's yard. Yeah, and good. then he just gets to the stop sign and then leaves. And I'm just like, this fucking, what the hell? What if my daughter was outside playing? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that's, that's, but that's what I'm getting to. It's like, 
I don't even feel comfortable leaving my fucking kids outside. They should be able to go play outside in this neighborhood. Yes. And now it's like, that's why I got to move. I got to figure it out, you know? But yeah. you know how the mar- housing market is now? It's so expensive. So right, battling man. that, you know what I mean? But uh, I wanted to talk to you. Halloween parties. I heard you have this famous Halloween party, man. I'm waiting for my invitation. Let's do it. All right. Because I, I heard, you're I, on my list, are, you, bro. are you still doing this or are you, yeah, you starting you know it back actually, up or what? I actually just started it back I'm up. I'm about to say, I hear it on all your so, podcasts. So two years ago, yeah. Esai and Marcos both said, no, it was funny because it was more my nephew, Esai. He says, hey, Theo, can, uh, can we throw a house, uh, a house Halloween party mm-hmm. in your house? I'm like, uh, I guess, but I say, am I invited? And he's like, laughs. He goes, yeah. I said, well, damn right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I said, it's been five, six years since we've had a Halloween party in my house. And they're legendary, dude. Mm-hmm. I mean, every year somebody would ask, hey, you going to have a Halloween party this year? I think we stopped having them. And I think it was 2017 when my dad passed. I think that was the last one When'd that we had. When you start it? Shit. Uh, 90, <laughs> it had to have been 2000, maybe 99, 1999, mm-hmm. because in KCK, where we used to live, my brother-in-law lived around that area in the very first house party. No, let me take that back. We had a house party in a church basement. We had a Halloween party and it was cool. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, we need to have a house party. It's nothing better than a house. Oh, party. yeah. So then my brother in law and sister in law said, you know what? Let's have it at our house. Boom. That blew up. I mean, it was so fucking cool because there was a bunch of people, small house, bunch of people. There could have been 30 people. It looked like it was fucking 100. Mm-hmm. I had the fog going, the music's playing. I had a DJ. It was the shit. Everybody loved it. So then we started having them at our house. We had two more, three more at our house. And then finally, when we moved here to Shawnee, Kansas, he said, we got to keep it going. So then they became legendary. Every And then it started getting out there. You know, we were sending invitations back then. You know, really? Or it was word of mouth. Or mm-hmm. people would call, hey, can we come to your party? Yeah. You know, just behave. That's all I ask. Just Did it ever get behave. wild? Behave. And there's been a few. Uh-huh. A few knuckleheads. A couple, couple cops. Yeah. Uh, cops yeah visit, of, visitations. <laughs> oh, shit. We had a single the mile party where the cops came in. And mm-hmm. yeah, it, uh, that one. I was so fucking... <laughs> I was so fucking lit. I was trying to get fucking. I thought I was Ice Cube standing on my oh, porch. What shit. the fuck? What are you guys doing here? You guys ain't invited. <laughs> People are like, dude, behave, man. Those are that's yeah. police officers you're you talking to. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck them. Uh, it was one. Yeah, that liquid courage oh, in you. <laughs> yes, big time, big time. I was all lit up. Oh, man. But anyway, no, it didn't. Halloween parties haven't got that crazy, but mm-hmm. yeah, they get pretty crazy. You, know, that's you cool, got man. that one primo that oh, the yeah. liquid courage as well. It takes you a little too far. All right, you need to go. <laughs> some so one time we had a guy come in. Uh, somebody brought their friends and they had to act up. We're like, fuck out. Yeah, you know you're not gonna ruin it for all of us. Now, so anyway, Eastside Marcos they throw a house party, a Halloween house party, and they decorated it like fucking phenomenal. It was badass. That's cool. But and and they I think they raised a little bit of money for their for their podcast. Uh huh. You know, and it worked. They they made some money. Yeah, they, that's they, cool. They. Even had a bouncer out on my porch, and he was checking everybody and checking IDs. And uh, yeah, they made a little bit of money, and it was all good. Everything was cool. Um, and then right after that, the wife and I were like, "Yeah, we're bringing it back." So last year we had our first one. That's awesome. Dude. And it wasn't a whole lot of people, which is it was comfortable. Is it like a dress up type? Yeah, costume. It's because- one. Of the, it, my parties are one of those where, bro, if you show up to my house party and you're not dressed. No, I don't kick them out. I'd be like, that's your fault. You're not dressed. Mm -hmm. You're the one that looks odd. Yeah. Everyone's odd. Some people would leave, come back an hour later in costume. You know? Yeah. But that's funny. I always have contests. Best, the best costumes, the best couple, the most outrageous, the dumbest one, whatever, whatever. (laughs) Damn, the dumbest one? Yeah. You know, I make trophies. (laughs) I make trophies and I get all into it. That's Halloween was my favorite. Why Halloween? Out of all the holidays, it's it's just because of the dress up. Oh yeah, I'm one of those. Be that, whatever you want for that day. Yeah, one of those. I'm one of those that I'm real particular what I'm going to dress like, what I'm going to do. What you know, people showing up to my party. I start at seven. 
I don't leave my bedroom till maybe nine o'clock because I'm still fucking working on my costume. Damn. Depending on what it is. What are you doing you know, in there? Putting on makeup and stuff? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, really? I put the prosthetics. I do oh, all the wig. I, I mean, I go out. I've been Beetlejuice. I've been um, uh, The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, you really? know, I did. Where are you yeah, buying these? Where are you buying these at? Well, I just, they, they have those. Uh, Spirit? Spirit? Halloween? Yeah, they, they have them good shit there. Oh, okay. That yeah, shit some expensive. of the stuff. Yeah, you're right. I do. I do pay a pretty penny, and then I'll buy. I go all out. That's the. What do you most. do with them afterwards? Just keep them. I got yeah. For it, 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 I'll wear it five years later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did a. I one year I did a Beetlejuice. That was the last one I did. I was Beetlejuice. Yeah. Went out to the thrift store, bought me a suit, dyed it pink. Then you know. What was your favorite the, costume? Man, I'm gonna have to say. When I was beast, because I it, it really I looked like a freaking lion. No, you had I mean, like a wig and all that. Yeah, shit I had um, um, the, the mane. I, I had I did it all. It was really yeah. Pulled up. Yeah, I, I may have a video. I'd show you. Yeah, Marcus and I, because we redressed, <laughs> we redressed for a uh, trivia party. I was like, oh, I, I get to bring my costume back and put the prosthetic on. Yeah, I even have another one of a skull face that I use for uh, Dia de los Muertos. Mm -hmm. Just just passed right. Uh, so I put the skull face and their prosthetics and I'm able to move my face, my height, and it, everything just moves. And I mean, I was freaking kids out just That's walking dope. around. Oh, at the parade? At, at the parade, right? Yeah. On Central Avenue in KCK, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to be in a motorcycle club and they used to go out there. Who, we what, used club, to have, what club was it? Uh, Los Padrinos. Was that with the, the Morenos? Uh, the, I don't know if their last name is Moreno. I think Moreno it's or, uh, no, well, Lozano. Then, Lozano, yeah. Dude. You, you know them really well? Uh, when I was in the club, yeah. I'm club? still cool with them. Yeah, so I'm still talking to them. Eastside's related to them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I seen that when I went up to their studio. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I visited their studio. I don't think I didn't talk to anybody, but when I was running Purple Pill, um, I had seen, you know, I still followed them and I supported the show, would like yeah. all their stuff. And I actually messaged them a couple of times, just, you know, giving feedback and, you know, telling them I love the show. It was mm -hmm. great, you know. And when I seen them open up the studio, I was like, man, were gotta... you there? Did you go that day? Yeah, yeah I went that okay, day. Okay, yeah, I was there. I was like, man, I was like, I got to check this out. And I seen some of the guys. Uh, I don't think I was in the club at the time, though. Yeah. Um, I think I had just got out. But uh, I went up there, and I seen some of the guys up there. And, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, they were there. Yeah, yeah, they were there. Yeah, I seen some of them up there. And okay. then uh, we, we had talked. And then, uh, but my my goal was to go in there, and I wanted to see what they were doing. You yeah. know what I mean? Kind of get some ideas, you know, I, I want to develop, you know, and and I thought it was neat, man. It was pretty cool, you know, but I just kind of came in. I didn't want to like be all like, oh, hey, you know, I am yeah. got my own podcast. You know, I wasn't trying to be like that. Was, that, 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 that that's their time. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I didn't want to like step barge in or anything and, like and that. And that was, that was part of the deal though. Mm -hmm. That was part of, we wanted people to come in and say, oh, this is bad. For sure. I want to do my own podcast. Yeah. You know? Well, and my thing was I'm doing it on my own. Yeah, I didn't yeah, plan yeah. on doing it with them, so I didn't want to like waste their time oh, or anything. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I just wanted to see because it was something I was watching and enjoying. So I'm like, well, they're inviting anybody. Let yeah. me go and check it out. You know what yeah. I mean? So shit, Tech Nine was there. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, he showed okay. up. He I was did. only there for a little bit. Well, yeah, so, yeah, he showed up. I, I just kind of walked, walked through and looked at stuff he came and then walked in out. And, so I think his his lady wife. Uh, mm -hmm. Good friends with uh, yeah, I, I seen that episode when she was me, on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're good friends, so it was cool, Man, cool to have awesome. him come out and check out the studio. We were kind of hoping he'd want to pop in one day and yeah. do something, sit down and talk. I'm sure that dude's busy. That man. guy's busy. Yeah, that guy, yeah. that guy's been blowing up, man. It's crazy to think about when I listened to him in middle school and high school. You know, to yeah, where he's at now, it's kind of insane, but. But no, yeah, so I remember those parades. You know, we used to, we had a tent up a couple of times. I think they still do it every year. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, but yeah, so yeah. they're up there. You know, we used to do the parade. And so we used to ride through, you know, with on the motorcycles That's and cool. stuff like that. Yeah, you know, they, 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 used to do, they it. do it all the time. So this, yeah. this time was, our, this was our first year that we were in the parade. Mm -hmm. It was cold. It was cold. It was it's always mist. cold. Because I remember when I was yeah. in there, it was cold, you know. You know, we, at one time we, we were talking the the you know the the the, the team Esai and the No Solutions. Mm -hmm. I said let's let's do a podcast on the back of a truck or a trailer, and let's let's you know just talk bullshit while people while are waiting. watching this. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I I almost it's a good idea. Yeah, I yeah. almost got into the uh, parade, the Chiefs parade last year, 
friend of mine, his truck was supposed to be in the parade because he he has a truck that decks out for the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And they invite him here and there to show it off. He and I talked and he says, hey, as soon as I find out what where I'm going to line up in the parade, he said, let's put your podcast, the big podcast, in the back of the truck. You got and during the parade, let's do a podcast. podcast. Yeah. Let's good do it. Good advertisement. Yeah. And it didn't work out because they ended up calling him and said, sorry, man, but we have to shorten up the lines this year and mm. something happened. And so he was pissed for one that he didn't get to show off his truck. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, you know, and I don't think he showed off his truck. I think that was season. the year that uh, that car went through the parade. Do you remember that? Yeah. That drunk yeah. driver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He almost hit me and my daughter. No way, dude. Yeah, he fucking came out of nowhere. We were we always go down to the um, River Market area. Okay. Kind of by that Italian restaurant at the very beginning of the parade. Oh, oh okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where we usually stand at. And we were sitting there, or standing there, and it was cold that year. Hmm. Was it Was it that year or was it the first one? No, I think it was the second one. They were it both was, cold. Yeah. But, but one of I them was the like, I had a full bib on and like a yeah, car heart. Like yeah, it, was it was cold, man. Yeah, it was really, really So cold. I don't know. I don't remember Not which one that was. One, but was what, yeah, whatever that, that car chase happened. I mean, he went, they they That's had right. to arrest yeah, him way at the that. Union Station. Remember that shit? Yeah, they, yeah. They ended up spinning him out. I don't know how he didn't hit anybody. Thank God he didn't. Right. But fuck, man. It was crazy. Um, we were standing there and my they were handing out like Chiefs... Um, like those the cardboard banners. things. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And my daughter wanted one. So I went up and I was like, come on, let's grab one. And she was getting to grab, grab one. And usually I'm very good at with like my no. surroundings. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I'm the type of guy that goes in a restaurant, sits with and my back against the wall, the watching is. the door, all yeah, that yeah. shit. Okay. You know what I mean? And, uh, and so I don't know how I didn't see him. I didn't expect a fucking car to be flying 100 miles an hour through a parade either, you know? But he came out and like started burning out or something, like sliding, like fishtailing, you know? Yeah. And came so close to the fence. And you know that fence is like just a plastic yeah, fence. Yeah, yeah, it's just one that they just- And I out. grabbed her real quick and like, but I wouldn't have done anything. Cause I mean, he would have, if, if he would have lost more control, he would have hit us like insane. And then just kept going. And I seen all the cop cars chasing yeah. him, but- that's crazy. Man. Crazy stuff, man, that happens. Even this last one, man. It's so sad, dude. And I actually, you know, want to give my condolences, you know, to you and the family. I see oh, that you thank had you. one of your guests. Um, yeah. That's that, sad, man. Dude, Very that was sad. That hit. So what was her name? Lisa. Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. Yeah. Lisa Lopez Galvan. Yeah. That's DJ. Sad, man. DJ Lisa G. Just yeah. senseless, man. Senseless right? killing, dude. Like, and all those other people that were affected, man. It's just. So sad. Yeah, so, and yeah. that family grew up right there by the church, by the Guadalupe Center, by no, off they? Madison. Yeah, a lot of my family knows who they that know was. That family? Yeah, because yeah, I've seen a lot of people on my Facebook and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, I they personally, right maybe I've met her. Was, I don't. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, but um. But yeah, I just seen so much, man, on there, and it's just it's just sad, man. You know, for no reason. You know. Right. But that's and, what's been my thing, man. Those uh, those big gatherings. You know, it's just you have to. I mean, there's nothing you could do. You can't look around and protect yourself as all. Like I said, with yeah. with that car, I I would have got hit. It's I, by luck I didn't get hit yeah. with my daughter. No, you know, I'm glad you didn't. But man, it's just scary. It's scary those big gatherings, you know. And you want to go and enjoy, and then you got to worry about that shit. You know, it's just yeah, it's sad, man. But I I like how the community has gotten together though and really helped. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and help donate to help the families and stuff I mean, like that. It's nice. Taylor Swift. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. What a sweetie, you yeah. know, to do that, to yeah. help the family out like that. It's very nice. Man, that's, yeah. And I hope all the other families are getting help too. Because there was yeah. like 20, you know, Some I understand. Kids. I don't know how many people die. I think, was it just her that passed? Yeah, there? she's the That's only sad, that passed, man. Yeah. And um, But the other ones I know that were affected too, you know, by, you know, being shot. I mean, the, yeah. you know. I mean, it was her, her two nieces, I seen her a, son. Yeah, I seen a bunch. Oh, really? Her son got hit, oh, yeah. Man. Got hit in the leg, yeah. Oh man, dude. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of kids, man. It's just Yeah, it's horrible. Sad, it's horrible. man. Sad. You know, and I hope I hope that doesn't affect if the future, but it sounds like it might, you know, which which sucks. But yeah, and but yeah they, man, you know, my, my heart goes out to that family and you know, I you know there's really yeah, nothing I, there's really nothing I can say, man. You know what I, know. I mean? It's like I'm one not good with death, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, you know, I just 
what do you say in those moments? Like, what do you tell those uh, that family? There's nothing you can say, you know what I mean? Except for your condolences and that's right? it. Right, you know, and what you was, know? I mean, yeah, I had her on an episode, mm -hmm. but I, I wasn't going to post that episode. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be like, I, I, did, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I, so I think you guys handled it well. Like on the last episode you did, that memory. Oh, or the, yeah, I heard thanks, the, yeah. Yeah, I heard me that. My compeo, yeah. yeah. Like my co-host, I mean, I know it, it hit him hard as well because mm -hmm. she was just on with her brother came in a month ago, like four episodes, five episodes ago. He came in, great time. And she texted me and said, hey, uh, I hear my brother's coming on to your show. Yeah, can I surprise him? I'm like, hell yeah, you're welcome in my home. Yeah, come on in. So that day he come in, we're talking, everything's cool. Yeah, I and heard she, that one. She comes in and she sends me a text, say, hey, I'm here. I'm like, come on in. So he comes in, he's like, wow, my sister's here. He's surprised. You know, he loved it. He loved the fact that she was here. She sat, she talked with us for another, we talked another half hour after that. That's awesome. Was, and then, yeah, and then this happens, you know? It's sad, man. And, you know, that's why we should really, I'm not saying, you know, you have to look at this, man, and realize that, especially family members, like, spend as much time as you can with them, man, right. because you never know, you know, you just, you know, and yeah, it, and ha like, it happens and, like and, that, you know. And, you know, at her uh, celebration of life after she was laid to rest and mm -hmm. we all got together at the Me Age High School, had dinner, you know, lunch or whatnot. And a lot of people came up to me and said, man, that was awesome, that you what you did. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I appreciate it, but wasn't my plan man well i know it's you not know? your plan but if because i listened to that episode um i think for the family not right now they're not gonna see it because it's they're in mourning right now right. I and mean, it's just it's it's horrible but later down the line it'll be cool to have something a piece of um a conversation of, yeah. their, of their mother or sister or what, whatever you know wife that you can reflect on and listen to, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. and it and she was a DJ too, right? She had a radio show. Yeah. So I don't know if they record those or not, but like yeah. some people when they pass, they they don't have anything, man. And those yeah. memories fade. And you know, especially th there's a big culture of taking pictures now, but think about back then. We didn't take that much pictures back then. Right. You know what I mean? Like I I don't have a ton of pictures of my daughter, my first daughter when she was younger. Um you know, we just, pictures weren't really, you know, th like they were coming around. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? But even like me as a child, like my mother has pictures, but not like a whole bunch of pictures. You know, you always wish you could do more to yeah. remember those people, you know? And I think that's what's cool about, you know, what you have now. You yeah, have man. a piece of um, like a history for a person, you know, that conversation that yeah. won't go away. You'll be able to always have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Even the KSHB 41 reached out. Oh, that's cool. And they're like, you know, we hear that you have footage. Mm -hmm. You did an episode with her. Uh, can we come in and talk to you? I'm like, I, I'll try. Mm -hmm. I said, I'll try to talk. I said, but yeah, you're more than welcome. Yeah. I said, where do you want to do this? And they said, well, we, you know, we saw that, you know, you have a studio. Can we come in? So they came in into my studio. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And, they came and did in. did a little and piece with you for did, about Yeah. Her. We yeah. sat for about a half hour, 45 minutes and, you know, just talk like you and I are talking, you know. That's good. And, uh. So, yeah, you know, and put that out there and it's just like, yeah, it's. Yeah, it's hard. It, it's, and it's, it's, hard, it's so it's, recent. It's really hard. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's, it's, it's a tough conversation, but yeah. I just brought it up because, you know, I just want no, to extend my, you know, you know, my condolences. Yeah, and yeah thank you. I, I'm not big on like, you know, I, I'm big on Facebook on stuff like that. But when it comes to like memorials and stuff like that, right. one, I personally didn't know her. And two, it's just like. Like I said, I'm the type to where like you what know, what do I do? Like I I can't do anything to make yeah. that family you know, feel like, any better. Or, you know, uh, you know she was the life of the party. Yeah. Everybody knew that her brothers and sister they they said it themselves. She mm. was the party. Yeah, you know she loved what she did. We Lisa and I we had plans. Uh, she worked. For, uh, she worked. She uh, donated her time to uh, KKFI a Taste of Tejano mm -hmm. every Tuesday night. And she's like, yeah, I need to get you and AO, my co host. She goes, I need to get you guys on. I said, let's do it. She goes, well, anytime. I said, but I said, my daughter's playing basketball right now. I said, every Tuesday, she has a game. Mm -hmm. I said, when the season's over, 
let's do it. She said, bet. I said, I'm, I'm bringing you. She said, you guys can come in on Tuesday night. And I said, and then the next day, you and Tommy are going to come in. For sure. She said, bet. Let's do it. We'll set it up as soon as the basketball season's over. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Were you there? Uh, when it, were you at the no, parade? No. My wife and uh, my oldest were there. Yeah. Uh, they were there for the parade, and then they left. They didn't stay for the rally. That same here. Yeah. I didn't even go down there. I mm-hmm. went down there one time during the Royals World Series uh, parade. Yeah, yeah. We walked because it was so new. You yeah. know what I mean? I know, so right? it was like. To all of us. Did you go to that one? Yeah, I did. It was insane. You know what I mean? Like, I'd never seen nothing like that in my life. All those people in one place. I mean, right? we walked. I don't know how many miles we did, but we walked <laughs> everywhere. We even were yeah. going through back doors through the Union Station. Yeah, hey, you guys went like, in the station? Yeah, we went through because wow. we were trying to get through shortcuts because mm. there were so many people. And we actually came out behind the stage and, um, yeah, got to see them kind of up, you know. But then we left. I mean, it's just too yeah, many it was people, lot. man. You know, little kids, dude. Yeah. At the time, we only had our oldest. But, uh, but yeah, man, it's, uh, it was a crazy time back then to see all that, you know, like yeah. all the cars. 20, yeah, it's 2015. Uh, yes. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. yeah. Or was it 2015? Yeah. It was 2015. 20, 16, it was yeah. 2015. 2015 yeah. With all the cars that were parked on the highway and. Yeah. They, they learned their lesson from that. Yeah. We, we parked a long ways. <laughs> we parked I, on the West side. We had, we parked all the way over there by the community center. Damn. Yeah. We walked all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a long walk too. I remember we walked through that Penn Valley park that we were talking mm-hmm. about earlier. We had to walk through there and then finally hit the station. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look back now, like, damn, did we really walk that far? Yeah, it and it, that was a cool time, man. You know, uh, the yeah. World Series. You know, I wasn't never really a baseball guy, but uh-huh. just to watch the city because we hadn't had anything like that, right. nothing big like that. You know what I mean? And to see them, you know, go through the playoffs. I mean, we were like big baseball fans then. <laughs> we were right. we were the bandwagons. Yeah, yeah. we we were the bandwagons. And there was a lot of chicks, yeah, you know. Yeah, which is cool. You know, you want new fans, That's, you know. I mean, yeah. I went out and bought a jersey. <laughs> like, it was so cool, dude. And I was actually getting into baseball, you know. But I, You fucking, you had your glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had yeah, my mitt out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we went there, and uh, we, 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 they did cool things. Like, they had um, one of the playoff World Series games we watched down on the riverfront. Yeah. They had a big blow-up screen, and just – Anybody could come out and watch. And it, it was just cool stuff like that, man. And yeah. I think we watched one of the games at Power and Light one time. So it was cool, man. You know, and, and to see all that and then to be a part of um, that that parade, man, it was it was just neat, man. It was neat. And that's what I'm saying. It's sad to see where it went to. But, you know, I hope man. I hope things get better, man. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, uh, I'm friends with her brothers. Mm-hmm. And uh, I text him a day or two ago and – Excuse me. And I, you know, just, hey, you know, thinking about you. And he's like, I appreciate it, bro. You know, and he reminds me, yeah. he says, uh, hey, we're still going to get that cigar. We smoke cigars, you know. Yeah. And uh, I, know I should have brought some. I'm a cigar smoker, too. Uh, you smoke to... down here? Yeah. yeah oh, I do you? Down here. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, cool. usually the kids aren't home, so oh, that's so always better. I could fan stuff out later on. But yeah. today it kind of fell on a Believe afternoon. Me, I want to so. smoke in my <laughs> studio so bad, but everybody's yeah. like, no, you know, it's not going to happen. I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't mind cigar smoke. I don't like cigarette smoke. You know cigarette I mean? smoke, I don't like. Yeah, either. no. You like cool with the cigar smoke? Cigar smoke. You, you yeah. need to go up to the lounge. I I seen the Strawberry Hill. Yeah, yeah, up yeah. I've been I've yeah. been following. I've seen a couple yeah. of his podcast shop, episodes. Yeah. yeah, I follow him. So yeah, that's it's a dope place. Yeah. Man. Oh, dude, it looks beautiful. Actually, I'm thinking about I might be going tonight. Are you? Because straight in the city, they're playing there tonight. Are they? As a matter of fact, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah, they're playing there tonight. What and, time uh, are they playing it? You know what? I don't. I don't know. Uh, my wife was supposed to text me and let me know what time. Because hmm. we were thinking, I was thinking about stopping there, smoke a cigar, listen mm-hmm. to the band a little bit. Like I said, because they're coming in. And hey, if they got week. Arturo Fuentes there, I'll, I'll be down there. That's my cigar. So uh, I'll you know, be down I'll there. check. I have to check. Yeah. I bet they do. They have a you big know, humidor, you know, of, walk-in humidor. Yeah, I'm sure they got dope. it. Yeah, yeah. because uh, I go to Outlaws. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't oh, been in, the one up here. Yeah, I haven't been in a while. I don't smoke as much as I used to, yeah. just because of the, the sport I'm in, but. Um, every now and then I'll have one, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, okay, but Outlaws right? is, Outlaws is cool. You know? Yeah. I've been up to the one, uh, South, like 135th mm-hmm. and yeah, 
in Olathe? Uh, the one I go to is Nortown. Yeah. They actually have a bar in it, which is nice now. So Okay. Because I'm not a big just smoke cigar. I, got, yeah, you I, I, nice I like to have a whiskey or something. You, you know go. what I mean? So yeah. What kind of whiskey? Is it, you got a favorite whiskey you drink? Or? <sighs> I mean, I'm not, a, in a glass, you just I'm not a picky guy. I like yeah. Maker's Mark a lot. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Um, that's always been one I've gravitated to, but I, I'm a Jack Daniels, just simple. Oh, the simple stuff. You know, yeah. I like I like shots wise. I like Fireball. Yeah. You know, I'm okay. a big Fireball yeah. guy, but nothing fancy really. No. You know, I kind of yeah. I have a budget nice, when it comes I have a to nice whiskey. Collection. Yeah. Of whiskeys. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, going back to Lisa's brother uh, Beto, he come in and I knew he would drink whiskey, so I set out these five bottles and we got mm -hmm. to choose whatever we wanted to drink, and that's what we did. That's nice. And then it got wild. Oh, did when Lisa came in and we were drinking and we're like, oh, wait, and it got fucking loud. Yeah. It was it was a blast. Yeah. Was, she, that's like I said, man. She I was, know. I, I want to have one of those party, man. those podcasts, man. You know what I mean? Like where yeah. you just kind of let loose. Uh, normally, you know, I'm shooting in the mornings. So yeah. mine have always been kind of just chill, you know? Okay, yeah, but, I didn't realize because when you had messaged me and said, you know, let's do a nine in the morning, I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, what? I, I, whatever works. I can yeah, do yeah. afternoons, but no, and I it gets a little that. busy in the afternoons, as you oh, can yeah, see. So yeah. I'm glad you've worked with me on this. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it can get a little loud, but yeah, it's all good. But no, man, yeah, no, I like just kicking back, drinking a couple beers, you know, yeah, talking, yeah. you know, it's always nice, you know. Yeah, man, you have to come down. Yeah. You know? No, for sure. I'll hey, check it out. at the lounge. Matter of fact, well, I told so, John I want to check out his uh, kind of behind the scenes to see yeah. how they do their stuff there. Come up tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh, is that when they do it? I'm I'm sitting with them tomorrow morning. Oh, are you? Okay. Shit. Come on, sit with me. You yeah. Can, yeah. Well, both of us can sit there. And talk. <laughs> Dude, he be. I don't know if I'm gonna be on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be in the background. Dude, he'd be surprised though, if, if if I'm sitting there talking to him and he you walk in, yeah. he'd be like, "Shit, come on down, sit down there, yeah. sit, sit down with us." What yeah. time do you guys do it at? Uh, we're shooting at noon. Noon. I might be able to make. It. I have practice yeah. tomorrow, but I might be able to. Yeah. Make think it. about it, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I won't even say nothing. If you surprise him, uh, I'll be like, yeah, because John's one of those was, was he, you know, he, because like Marcos works, he he runs the board for them, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, he's always giving Marcos shit. Mark, yeah, yeah, you know, I see you know. his, I see like, his hey, where's the clap? Lot. You know, he's always wanting them to yeah. the nice cheer. Yeah. I told, I told Mark, I said, hey, I'm on the show. You better give me a shitload of claps. I want, I want John John to say, oh, oh, really? Because your dad's here now? Uh, you, you know? Yeah, we're gonna make it fun. That's funny. Just have yeah. them all clapping in the background yeah. too to add to it. <laughs> That'd be dope. Yeah. But uh, speaking of the Chiefs, man, yeah. I heard you're not a Chiefs fan. You know, I heard you're a Dallas Cowboys, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. fan. Oh, when did? So were you in 19... that era of oh, what? when Dallas Cowboys when were winning? big? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, shit, I was in my early twenties. Well, I feel like there was like an era, like the 90s. Yeah, you know, it was, type. It was, it yeah. Was, everybody was, was a Cowboys fan back then. Yeah, and it's kind of like what the Chiefs are doing. Everybody's mm -hmm. just jumping on. But you're on. from Kansas City, though, I'm right? from Kansas City, mm -hmm. but like I, I, my summers mm -hmm. were in El Paso, Texas. Oh, okay. Because that's where my mom was from. And so my dad worked nights at the, at the uh, railroad. So during the summers, my mom was like, I'm taking mod. You know, and, and my sister, we're going to Texas, and we'd spend months up there. Really? Yeah, we, you know, we'd go up there for a, about a month. You know, three to four weeks. You ever miss it? Uh, I do. I, I I go. We travel now with my kids, the wife. You know, we'll, we'll travel to Texas, real yeah. close to uh, my aunt, my uncle. Um, yeah, they got a nice house. They, you know. Yeah, I've been to Corpus so down Corpus there. Christi. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. That was there. the first time I ever swam swam in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know uh, ocean water was salty. It's nasty shit. Oh, yeah. I, I, I took a big I, gulp of it. Oh! Yeah. I, was I did hurting. that in Hawaii. I, I was, was in hurting. Hawaii, and I tried to snorkel. Oh, you went to Hawaii? Yeah, my wife and I, we went to, when, right after we had our first born right, business. How was, was that? 96, That's 97. like my dream vacation, man. Hawaii. Hawaii. You know, it's, Is it beautiful? It's, well, at the time, yeah. And I I went <laughs> I went because we had a, a deal. Uh, we, my wife had a cousin who was working for the airline, and she said, I can get you guys... Free fly. I have miles or whatever they did mm -hmm. back then, you know. You know, you're my guest. So we fly to Hawaii, we spent a week, mm -hmm. and that's that's another story right there. But I was just happy to see the oh, oh what stadium was that? Oahu Stadium, the football stadium. Oh, for the Pro Bowl? Yeah. I, I was just happy to see that. I wasn't, you know, yeah, we went to Pearl Harbor. That's I cool. wanted to see the stadium more than I wanted to see Pearl Harbor, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of history there. How's the food down there? Oh man! Good seafood. Fuck. You know what? I, we ate like at an Applebee's, yeah. oh, Burger what? King. Yeah, oh, dude. I did, yeah, I mean, like I said, that's like going that to a time, Mexican restaurant and ordering a cheeseburger, man. Come <laughs> on. But that's what I'm saying. This was like the early '90s. You know, I'm 24, 20. I, yeah, no, I get it. I didn't. 
you know, I didn't, probably on a budget too, being that yeah, young. Yeah, you, you know? know, I didn't want to go out there and get whatever. I didn't even look. Pineapple was that was good shit. Yeah, you know, we went through the pineapple fields and got some oh, fresh pineapple. Cool. Good stuff. But yeah, but I don't know. yeah, that was a fun time. But dude, we got stuck at the airport. Mm-hmm. We slept on the airport floor for I think it was three nights, four days, what, trying to get home. Just weather? No. Cheap. Uh, we we flew standby, so once there was a seat open, you can come home for three straight nights. No seats were open. How home. the hell Jeez. did you do that? And we stayed in the fucking airport. It was just you and your wife. Me, and my wife, and her cousins. <sighs> there was four of us, and we slept on the floor, oh, just waiting man. for a free flight. That's crazy. So after after the third night, you know, you're like fuck this. I mean, we're <laughs> we're not even. And their airports are open. There's no doors, fucking birds flying through. What? Yeah, I mean, this is back then, right? This really? Is, yeah, we. It was just crazy. Damn. And uh, finally, the wife and I were like, you know what? We need to go. Our son was like six, seven months old. Oh, you guys had your son with yeah, you? Yeah. Oh my first born. shit. And we're like, we need to get home. Oh yeah. And then I was starting to, you know, it was our first kid, and my and we, he was with my mom and my dad, so we knew he was in good. He was fine. Hold on, but he wasn't with you at the airport. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no. okay, good, good, good. Oh, oh, I thought you had it. I thought oh, you no, had I'm him sorry. with you. I'm like, oh shit, no, that no, sounds no. like a he nightmare. St- he stayed. He stayed with my mom and dad. Oh, well, okay. we kind of vacation. We needed a little vacation. Got you. Okay. And uh, yeah, after that third night, we're like, we need to go. So yeah, you think of it now. We we pay like a hundred dollars just to come home. That's crazy. Yeah, for and both, that was for hard two for tickets. us. We're, yeah, I think it was, or it could have been a hundred apiece. But at that time, still, we were like, yeah. that's 100 bucks, man. Yeah, I couldn't imagine what it costs now. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so like I said, that, that was... The, the t- yeah, Texas would be a place I'd move to. I like Texas. It's nice. Yeah, El Paso, Texas, I love that. That was my second home. If you ever watch any of my first episodes, Marco said... Ac- ac- yeah, actually, the one with Lisa, uh, behind her is the Union Station. And then behind Marco and I, we had... Uh, there's a mountain, you know, Paso, Texas, that has a giant star on it. And it's not about the Cowboys. You have a Union Station, like the one like this? Yeah. You have the same one? Uh, No, it's it's actually different. It's actually in red. Oh, okay. Because it was like after the Chiefs had won the first Super Bowl. Yeah. So. Oh, so you do got some Chiefs stuff up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're a Chiefs. We'll we'll get back to that. You're a Chiefs and a Dallas Cowboys fan. uh, See, we'll get back to that. Uh, Okay. Okay. So anyway, yeah. uh, So, there. yeah, there's there's, there's a star on the mountain. And that's, I tell myself. I'm home. When I see that star driving on the highway, that star could be as big as a dime, mm-hmm. but I see it on a mountain. You could breathe easier. I'm like, oh, oh that's okay. Yeah. This is El Paso. This is this is where my grandpa and grandma raised their kids. My mom, her sisters, her brothers. You know, El Paso is my. It, it, I would say it's my second home. Now it's just different. Just like you said, living here, things mm-hmm. are different. Yeah, you want to start moving away. You know, there was a time where I was like, yeah, if I if I wanted to move, I'll go to El Paso, but. I don't know anymore. You yeah, know, I still visit. I still have family there. Um, who knows? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe down the line. It, but that city's growing just as well. Oh yeah, and it's right there. It's a border town from Juarez, Mexico. Yeah, so all kinds of crazy shit happens. Oh, I'm sure their downtown is right next to Juarez. The, you can see the the fence, the the wall, whatever yeah. they're trying to put up. Right? Yeah, dude, Juarez is crazy, man. It was getting yeah, so bad down there that the cartel and everybody took over. Well, even with deportations, they were stopping to deporting people down there because it was getting so bad. They had to go to a different area for right, that shit. Yeah. That's how bad it was. I'm like, yeah. God damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably, I'm sure it's probably still as bad, but it's sad, I mean, man. What's going on in the border stuff, man? It's just all right. very. It's that's a lot. Another topic, but there's there's yeah. no uh, easy answer to that. Right. You know, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, and it's just sad. Some of the people that, you know, lose their lives or have to live in those conditions, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It's and the people that are affected in those towns. So yeah, it sucks, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, but Texas as a whole though, man, it's a pr- pretty cool place down there, man. Yeah. You know, you know going back good to weather, the, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Think my, my, I think that's what I crave. I hate winters here. Yeah. Holidays. Don't mind. January, February. Can't stand. And my birthday's in January, and I can't oh. stand it. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just too cold, man. Like right. ridiculous. We had that negative thirty, and during the Chiefs game. Oh, I mean, that that cold was ridiculous. Did you go? No, I didn't oh. go. But even here in my home, we shot a podcast here. I think 
around that time. Yeah. I mean, and I have to shut off the furnace because if the furnace turns on, it's just oh, it's loud. loud as shit. Yeah. I had the heaters running. Well, I messed up. I shot two podcasts that day, and these were both three over three hours apiece. Wow. I did them two in one day, and it just happened to line up like that. Do you change? No, no, no I you get the, the same thing. Yeah, on? I wear the same thing. Oh, okay, I was just nah, I, I, I did that. I did that a couple of times, and I had to take another hoodie. Or no, I, had, I even I even talked I about it. it look, no, I, I even I talked about it. Different. I was like, yeah, you know, I just had a guy on, oh, but okay. it was so cold in the basement, and you know, the basement's underground, right? But so cold. Like, even the guy that I interviewed was an army ranger. Yeah. I mean, did six tours in Iraq. And he was like, ah, no, I'll be fine. It's a little chilly. Because the heat hadn't been on for three and a half hours with my first guest. And he was getting cold, you know, towards the end. Right. I was like, hey, man. And he showed up right when I ended the other one. So I'm like, hey, dude, it's kind of cold. Do you want to wait? I'll turn on the heater, the space heater. Yeah. Kind of warm it up. He's like, nah, I'll be fine. I've been in worse. But he, like an hour in or maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I don't know what it was. He was like, all right, I'm putting on my hoodie. I can't do it anymore. That's how cold it was down here. It was <laughs> bad, man. Even now it's a little chilly, you know, it could, yeah. after a while, you know what I mean? Yeah, I have of, a, like a little space heater down in my in my studio. Well, see, I only got one outlet. So I left the space heater on one time. Uh, I had that detective on uh -huh. and I left it on. Everything's kind of... Like I use a couple of different outlets upstairs, run extension cords. Extension cords? Yeah, but I left the heater on connected to that outlet that's connected to my recorder. Yeah. And there was like a little pulse every mm. minute. So the post edit was insane. Yeah. Like had to go through, clean up all that shit, you know, maybe there's an easier way. I don't know, but I, it was a, it was a bitch clean, you know, cleaning that uh, episode up. But, um, so I can't really run a space heater yet. So hopefully I, okay. here in the future, I'll get some outlets, you know, and be able to do that. But yeah. But or no, just the, the, drill some holes, run them upstairs. That's what, yeah. I, that's what I would do. Yeah, yeah I mean yeah. that's that's yeah that's. I did actually did that to one of my walls. I mm -hmm. put holes in them and ran cords underneath and. Yeah. But yeah. no, man. Yeah, that that game was insane, man. Thir negative thirty degrees. Those okay. guys out there with fucking no shirts on. That's crazy. What the hell? I don't think those guys. Thirty are degrees is one thing. Okay, you know, thir forty. You know what I mean? But once you start getting negative, yeah, negative thirty. Yeah. Or what was it, negative 15? It had to be, yeah. It was, anytime I mean, you say negative, it's fucking cold. Yeah, yeah, frostbite. I mean, come on. Yeah, a lot of people. I they think got I, hospitalized. You're right. That's why I, I think yeah. I even mentioned that on one of my episodes. Because I think my niece Mia, she went. Uh oh. And I think we talked about that on her episode. And I had said, i like, yeah, some, there was like hypothermia going on. Yeah. Like dozens of people were. Shit, there was a two or three fans that died at a house because of it. Did you see that? Because of the cold? Well, they said or there they was party too possibly some fentanyl stuff involved. Oh, like maybe they're oh, doing some drugs and it has some fentanyl in it. I don't know the actual. Oh, oh you, you're talking it about was the up, story. Up north, yeah, yeah. Up north over here. Where the the guy claims that he didn't know that they were he still fell asleep in his or something like that. Or some, yeah. I, that's a really weird I haven't story, looked, dude. I haven't looked it up since, but from what I heard, I might be wrong. Yeah. So look it up. Yeah, fact um, check. Yeah, fact check that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come here for facts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually pretty decent, but you hey, know, you got I, a microphone in front of you. What you say goes. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah you just know, believe that, any believe anything I say. That's what Opie and Anthony used to say. That was their thing. They're like, you know what? I know everything. You know why? Because I got a fucking mic right here. <laughs> so I'm, what I'm talking about goes. I got know? a microphone and a camera. So yeah, I, yeah. I, everything I say is true. But uh, but no, they said that. I guess they were all just partying, drinking, you know, yeah. doing whatever they were doing. And uh, I think the one of them passed out in his room, which could happen. I yeah. passed out at times in my room, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, had those parties, you know, you just did a little too much. Not, you know, drinking wise. Right. But I guess they were messing around with some shit and, you know, they, the other two probably went out to smoke maybe or something and they just passed out out there. And I, 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 so they, they don't know if it's the fentanyl or the cold. Probably, I think a combination of probably both. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you fall asleep outside in <laughs> negative temperatures. That's you know crazy. what I mean? That, that, that's going to happen. But I don't know what they ended up but coming up with. But then I thought I heard that this guy really didn't even know those three guys. I that they just met and said, hey, let's party at my house. And I didn't dig that deep. So I didn't yeah, know I think that's what I heard too. Mm -hmm. that was, a friend of mine at work was telling me about it. And then later on, I heard, saw it on the news. And I'm like, well, wow, that's some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was wild, yeah. man. But- so yeah. how'd you become a Dallas fan, that, man? That's, so that's why? Yeah, that is El Paso? Of El Paso, Texas, yeah. Uh, my mom's brother mm -hmm. would spend a lot of times here in Kansas looking for work. 
Um, you just hung on to that team, and huh? yeah, and the Chiefs he, were sucking back then. So yeah, right. And and yeah. but this is I'm talking. This was in the 78, 79 is when I oh, okay. I started to watch football. Got you. And that's when I became a fan. Mm-hmm. And you know, and that's so yeah. When they won their Super Bowls in the nineties. I was already deep in. And when the Deion Sanders age, oh, you were man, you yeah, know, that Deion was your time. Sanders, yeah. <laughs> Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, yeah, because how many Super Bowls did they end up winning that? Year? So they won three out of four in yeah. four years. They won three. I know it's quite a bit. They created their dynasty, which the Chiefs just created their dynasty. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I know. What do you so think about people, next year? You think uh, they got potential to go back? Who's that? Uh, the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I didn't think they had the potential at the beginning of the season to go back this year. That's they, what I. That's what I heard. Did. Yeah, you know, so, I heard a lot of talk because. The older I've gotten, yeah, I have not followed football as much as when I was younger. I mean, mm-hmm. I was diehard Chiefs fan. Still, yeah. still love the Chiefs. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's been things that have kind of pushed me away from football a little bit. The older I got, the more I kind of see some weird shit going on. But, um, you know, so that's kind of messed with me enjoying it. But, um, but I still watch it. Playoff games yeah. and stuff is exciting. Super Bowl is exciting. My parents throw big. They, events they you know we all meet up over there it's kind of our time to get together right, right, right. i go more to see, be with them but uh but i enjoy watching you know it gets fun but um yeah. but yeah man i mean i heard a lot of talk during that time i didn't get to catch a lot of games but yeah. uh i heard a lot of just like they weren't even considered to even be in, right you know yeah they were they were a high powered offense a few years ago even i think it was last season mm-hmm they were putting up the numbers. They were like just Tyree beating Keel everybody up. Them, yeah. yeah, they're going to go. To, and then this year, it was just not that type of season. It was their defense that carried them. When you hear defense wins championships, that's exactly what the defense did this past season. Yeah. So, yeah. It was – It was, you know, like I tell people, you know, people know that, yeah, I'm not a diehard Chiefs fan. I said, Mahomes, I love to watch. Hey, who doesn't love to watch that guy play? He's amazing. Yeah, he's great. You know? Mm-hmm. Chiefs are very lucky, very fortunate to have him. Mm-hmm. You know, and then of course the coach and yeah, everything has been working well. Yeah, they got a good uh, change good chemistry right now. Very good, chemistry. a lot of good people in the right positions. Yeah, you know, but you know, and then I think I, you know, I said this last season. I love what they're doing for the city. You know, the city's just bam booming. Everybody in the nation is looking at Kansas City, mm-hmm. right? Well, that's yeah. what I tell people when they see all this stuff uh, popping up and getting built and stuff like that, right? That's sports teams for you. You know, yeah. we've seen it when the Royals won. We've seen it when the Chiefs started winning. I mean, it brings national attention to yeah. the city. You know? And then, so now the, what, the stadium's going to move. They're going to move the, the Royal, Royal Stadium. stadium. Yeah. What do you think about that? Don't like it. Yeah, you're not a fan of that, huh? I think a lot of businesses are going to be affected by it. Which I, I believe I so. don't like, without going down too much of a rabbit hole, right. I don't like uh, where owners only pay a certain portion of that stadium. And they rely on taxpayer dollars for the re- remainder. Mm. Don't like that at all. Same right. with the Chiefs Stadium right now. Yeah. There's this fucking dude on Instagram. I don't remember what his fucking follow KC or something like that. I don't know if this guy. You don't guy, sound like a fan of his. No, I'm not. Well, I was. I actually you, followed you, him. You I, I but... kind of had to unfollow. I mean, and it's nothing against him. I just, I feel like sometimes organizations are paying some of these influencers to right. uh, promote their shit. And it's kind of ridiculous. Some of the shit I read in the comments, I'm a comment reader. I like seeing what the, what the city thinks of things. Yeah. I'm not saying they're all right, but I see a, a chiefs renovation idea that they're thinking. Yeah. Of. Yeah. I $800 million dollars in renovations. That's crazy. Yeah. The hunt family only wants to pay 300 million of that. And they want the 500 million to be on taxpayer dollars. No. I yeah, it's the same thing with the fucking Royal Stadium okay. too. It's like, and you know, the, owner, the owners only tell want me to if do I'm so wrong. Much. Contact me, email yeah. me. All my contacts are on there. I'll have anybody on that wants to speak about this. But it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous that these fucking billionaire owners right. are relying on the city for money. That is, that is, because there's loopholes and it, right. It, we don't have to go down that road, thing. but no, you know I, what I, I mean. It, it really pisses you. me off, man. And just yeah. and no, just, I just the, learned something. Yeah, I didn't and, know that. I didn't is it a it. cool concept being downtown? Right. It would look beautiful, but think about everybody down there. Not just because oh, this is what we want to do. This is what we think is good. What about everybody else in that area? What about all these businesses you're gonna have to knock right. down? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like some mom and pop businesses. Yeah. Down what about too, parking right? or you know? It, all the what about increasing property taxes around there? I mean, all sorts of shit can happen. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, we already see 
the gentrification of downtown. Right. You know, look at the West Side. The West Side is almost non-existent it's now. Crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's a m- monumental neighborhood. Right. You know, I understand the natural progressions of of a uh, downtown city area. I get it. It's going to expand at some point. I'm sure LA was the same. Dallas was the same. I'm sure all these cities that are big now were the same. New York. Yeah. They started out small and they expanded, but it's just sad, man. Cause you know, you're driving all these people out of their homes, their businesses and stuff like that. And it's one of those things, like I said, there's no one answer or easy answer to it. Right. It's a weird, just a lot of things, just a mixture of different things. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's, it's hard. It's it, cause if you go this way, these people are affected. If you go this way, this is affected. There's so many things that are, are moving pieces in that. Yeah. But but yeah, I'm just not a fan, man. I I, I think no. where they're at's fine. Build around that. Why not? There's a lot of area out there where they're at already currently. Yeah. So why uproot that and move it? Makes no sense at all. I understood why they did sporting. Yeah. The Wizards were playing in Arrowhead forever, you mm-hmm. know. So that made sense. And then, and, and then what do you think of the girls? Uh, the the Casey Current Stadium that was just put up. I think it's cool, man. But I think it's trends. I think it's all, you know, woman power right now and it's yeah. great. And I think that's cool, you know. Do I, I be- see it I believe they're having... the first women's yeah. stadium. Do I do I see it having longevity over time? Yeah. I don't know. You asked yeah. my personal opinion. Right. I don't think so. I women's sports are cool, you know, but yeah. just looking at statistically wise numbers, they just don't compete with, you know, male dominated sports. And I mean, if they have enough audience to be able to afford to hold that stadium yeah you know what i mean then okay and also from what i heard that stadium was actually funded by whoever the owner is or however many owners they had by them i don't know if there's any taxpayer dollars involved in it but the mahomes family are part of it as well. are they i believe so i'm all for anybody mahomes has i'm all for anybody who wants to build something on their dime that's it yeah 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 yeah. stop involving our taxpayer dollars correct that's it you know we already have enough taxes as it is (laughs) (laughs) yeah no kidding man so that, that's my yeah. thing. Now, if it works out, great. I think they're going to use it for concerts and stuff like that, too, probably. So, yeah. you know, I don't think they can solely rely on women's soccer to bring revenue to that stadium. I think they probably have to do other things like the Chiefs do. They have yeah. they have outdoor concerts and stuff there on the off season. So, yeah, I'm sure. They're, they're, but it looks cool. Looks yeah. cool from the riverfront. You ever see. been you ever speaking of concerts? You ever been in a concert at like the Royals Stadium, Coppins? I don't think I've been. Uh, I've been to the Royal Stadium for yeah, a baseball but not game, for, but not for a concert. Yeah, a few years ago we went to uh, Billy Joe. I'm a Billy uh-huh. Joe fan. That was dope. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was cool the way it was set up, and yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was really neat how they did that. Really? Yeah, it was cool. Uh, Billy Joe. Billy Joe. Man, he still yeah. touring? I don't know. No. I don't know. Probably. When was that? What was this that? was probably about three years ago. Hmm. Four years ago, yeah. It was a, birth, a birthday. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, sorry. I'm texting them upstairs trying to get them to. <laughs> no, no. <you're laughs> they're good. letting the dogs out. They're all barking and stuff. Yeah. I'm sure you've been Is hearing there, the dogs name. barking? Yeah. See, there, I can't hear it. hear it. Oh, well, then that's good. Yeah. That's well, good. It's well, on this side. If it's on this so, side. Sometimes you. when they're walking up here, you can hear their nails and stuff like hitting the wood. But, yeah. you know, it's just it gets distracting at times. So I'm glad it's not distracting. Yeah. But. Um, but, yeah, man, you know, we'll see what comes. Do I think they're going to pass the stadium downtown? Probably. I know they have a vote on it. I don't know when it is or if it's already passed, but yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll see. You know, and the renovations, like I said, they look cool. Great, just do it on your own dime. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you man. know. And if anybody can explain to me involving city, you know, taxpayer dollars to help, you know, why they do it, come yeah. on and let's talk about it. Because to me, I don't understand it. You know, you yeah. can talk about bringing revenue to the city all you want, but does that help the people? Does it, does it help them? If it doesn't help them, then don't involve them. That's it. Great, you know yeah. what I mean? No, I get it. I'm all for football and, you know, uh, making the town better, but there comes a cost at some point, you know? And I think people are forgetting that, you know? There's human beings out there. Like right, yeah. everyday blue collar human yeah. beings that are being affected. And just because they're not maybe as uh, active and vocal on social media, they shouldn't be overlooked. We should know this. Yeah, you know? yeah not everybody right. can afford to live these lives that these people are living downtown and That's crazy, yeah. living in their two light condominium. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, what's that? The windows. They have the the. There's another one. It's called windows. Oh, is there? My son actually lived there, so he was in the. 
Let's see what was the shit. I'm trying to remember was if before or after it, because he ended up leaving the. He left us to go to DC. Mm. Yeah, he went to DC for about a year and a half to learn some shit yeah. out there. Yeah, you know, because he wants to get into the political world. Yeah, and so that, when that was that was crazy because he just said, "Mom, Dad, uh, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to do my thing, and can you just drop me off? Mm-hmm. Drop me off in DC, and I'll go from there." Like you don't even have a job, son. I'll find it. I'll figure it out. I got enough money to hold myself an apartment. I already got an apartment. There's four, three people to live in that building. Mm-hmm. You know, he didn't know them at all. They asked for, they asked, it's funny, they asked him to do a PowerPoint about his, himself, oh, really? his life. That's and he passed, neat. so they're like, okay, you're in. That's neat. Yeah, so he lived out there for a little while. Well, tell him when he starts making it up, send some people my way. I'd love to yeah. have some conversations. Maybe when I get a studio, though, I don't want them knowing where I it's live. This is a studio. <laughs> a, this is good. No, I don't want them knowing my oh, house and home address. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Hey, no, some this? of those conversations may not go well. So, yeah. Who did the sound for you? Uh, this guy out in Kansas, uh, I've tagged him. If you go to my Instagram page, okay, uh, I have like these uh, little highlights, so you can go and see my old stories that I used to post. Okay, but uh, I can't remember his um, his uh, name. It's like something Metalworks. Okay, no, that's it's dope. But yeah, no, I, I, I've I, always I, wanted to get me something like that. Yeah, I've seen him out there, and uh, I just kind of wanted to take a nice little drive. It was about like an hour and a half into Kansas, middle of Kansas, somewhere way out in. Kansas, yeah, like <laughs> some type of boony town, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went out there to, uh, I contacted him on Facebook and he was, you know, a good price. So, mm-hmm. you know, I shot him the ideas, real professional about it, you know, sent me drawings before I even, because I told him I wanted to look exactly like my Instagram photo. Yeah. And, you know, he drew it up and um, did a great job. I did some of the, I did all the LED work, but, you know, I got to okay. refix it. Some of it's kind of fallen down. You can kind of see in the letters, but. Oh, no, yeah, it came out not cool, too man. bad. You know, I wish it's it was dope. a little brighter, but you know, it was, it was nice. It's a nice touch. You know, when you come down here and you see it, it kind of yeah. has like more of a professional, you know, you, you know what you're, you're on. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know yeah. What I mean? No, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I just got a, a painting I did and just, oh, yeah? I found a frame and I just painted my logo. Right oh, in that's nice. it. It's up on my wall. I, yeah. you, you can see part of it behind my co-host and I, mm-hmm. I did that. Yeah. Your co-host, man. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. A- A-O? A-O, yeah. Yeah. He's an artist, right? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if you've seen some of his work. Yeah. Uh, no, I heard on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah you should yeah. look him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check him out. Yeah, it was. Yeah, AO, you guys vibe AO real well. Art Five dot com. I, I like I like your guys' chemistry. You know, you're kind of the funny. You know, yeah, you, I'm you, the funny the, the old funny man. Guy. That you said, you, you <laughs> yeah, the funny old man. You yeah. said, yeah, he's, he's got the hey, funny man, old, old man jokes. Everybody's got to know that funny old man, man. <laughs> I know. I was like, yeah, but, I, got, uh, I got a fucking great beard. Yeah, I am well, the old I know. Man. I was like, it was one of them old school jokes, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it was funny, but uh, <laughs> the old man jokes, yeah. You know? yeah. But uh, but now and then your co-host he kind of brings a more serious, yeah. you know. But you yeah, guys, that's why I'm gonna boot him off. I'm yeah, like, you I'm got, already tired of it. You guys blend well together. You guys crack <laughs> me up. I remember one time he was asking a bunch of questions, and you were like, "Damn, that's a lot of questions." That, said, where does she? Where does they even yeah, start? I said, "Yeah, yeah, I think it was. I can't remember who it was." And I'm like, "Dude, you just fucking asked six questions. How how are they gonna figure? <laughs> Dude, relax." And but, then he did it again. But it's funny because you guys are kind of thinking like it's like a little back and forth like bickering. Yeah. But the ones listening, we're cracking up because yeah. it's just it's just funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Generic. Yeah. You know. And, and and that was the same chemistry that Marcos and I had. Mm-hmm. Mark, yeah. Yeah. I would just like. Stop yawning. Yeah. Damn it, you're fucking falling asleep. We're talking here. Yeah. You know, but no, it's and funny. It's, it's real, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, I, it, I think that's what's funny, you know, because we can all relate to that yeah. family member I, or that friend. Then I know? have to yell at my son, Chris, running the board. Chris, Chris, wake yeah. up. Yeah. He's back there on his phone, and you're supposed mm-hmm. to be switching. You're, you're running our switchboard. What yeah. are you doing back there? I like the one you did with yeah. all your family, too, there. That was pretty cool. You know? uh, oh, when we did our, the, the yeah, you had your, the wife and kids. Your wife, yeah, and kids. Yeah, I thought that was neat, man. Yeah, that was fun. Because you guys will look back on that, you know what I mean? And and yeah. be able to have that saved. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah. So. Oh, you know, earlier you said you want to sit down with your mom and dad, talk a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I want to bring my mom in. But I told her, I said, I said, Mom, I said, you need to come in because my mom's old school mm-hmm. and she can really let out some shit, you know. Because mm-hmm. I was just trying to test her. I kind of need some of that though. Nowadays. I know, right? I said, Mom, <laughs> I said, Do you remember the time that you used to lock me out out of the house? She's like, No. I said, Yeah, you did. During the summers, you would lock me out. So I wouldn't bring my friends over. She goes, well, your dad was sleeping. He worked nights. Mm-hmm. She goes, yeah, I do remember. Yeah, I didn't want you in the house. 
You know, and I was like, okay, that's, I just wanted to make sure that that's what it was, is right? Because dad was asleep. Yeah, your dad was sleeping. Mm -hmm. Fucking had the window unit, the air conditioner, you know? Mm -hmm. We only had that one air conditioner trying to do the whole house. Our house wasn't very big. But uh, yeah, so I'd have to go up to my buddy's house because they had their AC and I'd hang out with them. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, that's that's what I did. And then yeah. It's getting dark and my dad's getting ready to go to work, so I'd come home. So those are the kind of stories I want to get out of my mom just to talk, just to see. Would yeah. I put it out? I don't know. Like you said, would you have your mom and dad and talk? Would you put it out there? Let yeah. people let people know who your mom and dad is? Uh, a cousin of mine said, yeah. He goes, you know what? Let's sit down. He goes, I'll sit with you and let's get our moms that are sisters. Mm -hmm. Let's see what kind of stories we can get out of them. I think maybe if, if you feel comfortable enough, but it's also not a bad thing to keep for yourself too. Correct. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I keep an external hard drive with videos and stuff on them, you know, just to keep. Uh, right. You know, or like even I told you about that Thanksgiving podcast. I may release it one day, two years later. I don't, you know, I don't know. You yeah, know when they're I mean? ready, but yeah, they're out there. Yeah, you know, and and that's what I like about having my studio, my own equipment. Mm -hmm. I don't have to ask anybody anything. Yeah, it's my stuff. I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have plans to bring my dad's brothers, um, the five that are still with us. Because my dad and I lost two uncles. He's lost two brothers. So there are three gone. Yeah. Five that are still here. Three of them are the oldest ones. And then the two youngest ones. So my dad and his two brothers were right in the middle. And they're, they're gone. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I've talked to cousins of mine. And I said, hey, I want to bring your dads in. I want to sit down and want to talk. I'm not going to put it out. I just want to put it. You know, I want to have it with us. Yeah. For... Like you said, the, uh, you know, like we talking about Lisa, I want like Lisa's thing. I want her. She's got a couple kids that who knows? They may have grandbabies. They may have their own kids one day. You know, they're going to know what their grandma was about. Yeah. You know, they'll see that video. They'll hear their audio. Oh, grandma was cool. You know, mm -hmm. so I want to bring my uncles in, you know, and they're getting older. I know yeah, we only have so much time. Right. And you just never know. Yeah, it you goes back know. to the try to get things recorded and pictures and yeah, because that stuff's going to mean a lot, especially passing down your lineage, you know, like right. to your grandkids and great grandkids. And they'll have a piece of I it mean, because think about, you know, I don't have much of my great grandfather other than photos. I mean, you can't, how are you supposed to relate? Right. Like you have something cool. You don't see it right now, but. 50, 60 years from now, right. you know what I mean? You're going to have great grandkids, you yeah. know, that are going to be like, oh, oh, that was my great grandfather. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's great pretty grandpa neat. was doing a podcast. Yeah, it's pretty neat, that's, man. Yeah. You know, and, it, and that's doing. why, you know, don't chase, you know, fame or anything like that. I always keep it generic, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. That stuff will come in time if it's, if it's meant, if to, it's be, meant to be, yeah. you know? But in the end, look at it as like, this is a cool thing even for me and my people around me, you know, to, to have. You yeah, know? yeah. So I, I think I think that's pretty... I think that's the way I look at it for me. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so yeah, that's why, yeah. So that's why I like that. I have that studio and yeah. I can just do it anytime. Well, Hey man, uh, I love it, man. You know, I hope you guys keep doing what you're doing, man. Just, you know, it's great. So I love, you know, listening to it. And yeah, is there anything that. that you want to talk about that you guys got coming up or, uh, no, no, there, there's not much. I mean, we just go day by day. Yeah. Uh, you know, I already have the month of March filled and I'm trying awesome. to go, you know, I yeah, got, that can be a, four, that can be have, a, a fun game, huh? Feeling uh, right. filling spots, working with people's schedules. Yeah, and I mean, stuff. It, it's hard. Yeah, you know, is. yeah. I mean, your schedule, you their schedule. Your yeah, guys that are helping you schedule. You, you know? know, I mean, I'm lucky to have you know, I'm lucky to have a team that if somebody says, "Dude, sorry, I can't make it. Yeah, I got to do something." It's cool. Let's That's reschedule. Awesome. Yeah. But my team and I will say, "Show, show must go on. Let's let's sit and talk." You know, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, but as far as anything planned, I mean, mm -hmm. I have nothing, nothing yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know, uh, like I said, my sponsor, mm -hmm. uh, Quinn Concrete Construction. This guy owns a uh firework, firework stands during you know yeah. month of July. So he's like, "Yep, we're gonna set up the podcast." You know, That'd you guys be neat. Can bullshit and yeah. watch have us people sell. on and stuff. Yeah, yeah, have people come in and talk. I always think those are cool, man. You know what those, I mean? Like, uh, I really liked what uh, the No Solutions was doing when they were doing the live events and stuff like that, yeah. or the bar stuff. So we did that. So we did that. Uh, I was lucky. Mark, Mark and I, the the big Marcus. Yeah, I heard you guys we, did. We it did at the bar. barbecue. Mm -hmm. We did a barbecue one. You guys did one at the bar too, right? Um, 
Yeah, the, actually, I did a whole I think two seasons in a bar. Oh yeah. Well, it was no, it's I heard not a one. bar. I'm sorry, it's American Legion Post. Yeah, that it's yeah. the Post. Yeah, okay. they don't you know they're not considered a bar. They're it's like a considered. members only. Type yeah, thing. yeah. And so when they had the the barbecue thing, we're like, yeah, we set up outside, and that's when there was this creepy guy that was walking around just staring at us. <laughs> that ended up being Jake, Jakey Flake. Right? <laughs> I heard about and that. Yeah, story. yeah. <laughs> So we're doing the show and I'm like, who's this guy that's just walking around like a creep? Yeah. You know, giving us these weird goo-goo eyes. And uh, so finally he got to talk to my nephew, Isai, and he introduced himself and thought mm-hmm. it was cool about the podcast. So we give Jake, I said, man, you molested. You were molesting my nephew, dude. Leave him alone, man. You know, so <laughs> it's just an ongoing joke we have going on. That's funny. Right. Yeah, he told, he told that story it, on the podcast. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I remember hearing that. So he's like, yeah, I feel like a creep. Nah, that's awesome, man. But I'm glad now, you guys are doing your thing, man. You yeah, know, I appreciate it. Yeah, just and, keep you know, it up, man. Congratulations to you, man. Yeah. You do a great job. Thanks, man. You do a great job. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, you got that same vibe that uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I mean, he, he played a big uh, impact on big, my life, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't try to gear it towards that, but, you know, a lot of similarities are going to come from that just because yeah. I enjoy that style, you know. And I'm not trying to be different, but I've noticed – some of the podcasts, you know, are going a certain direction and there's nothing wrong with that, the way there's styles, but I wanted kind of like my own little style, you know, and yeah, it's yeah. just pieces from other podcasts, you know what I mean? Right, so yeah. it's not nothing I'm inventing or yeah. anything, but I feel comfortable in this, just like you feel comfortable in your podcast. So mm-hmm. that's kind of how I wanted to do it. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. and earlier you had asked me about the, so like one through 72, I think it was. It was just nothing but memories. And then I started to change it a little bit. And that's a cool so, thing, and, though. And you can change it so, whenever. Yeah. That's so cool I'm thing. still, I'm still, you know, we come in, we'll talk a little history. Mm-hmm. Where you from? Where'd you grow up? What'd you do in high school? Okay, bam. Try these jelly beans. You tell me what you think. Or try these chips. Or, uh, um, you know, there's another game I'm going to play where it's not not necessarily the hot wings, but mm-hmm. put put some sauce on the chip, mm-hmm. spin the wheel, which mm-hmm. one you get, eat it. Oh, yeah. You know, just yeah, little, little fun games. things. That's cool, man. Little fun things to do. Yeah. You no, know, I, things I enjoy different. it, man. I enjoy it. And hopefully, uh, you know, I've mentioned to John and Jake before, um, it'll be cool later on down the line that, you know, having like kind of a live event, you know, because I know yeah. they're good at doing that stuff. And just having all the podcasters down there, you know, networking, mm-hmm. talking, you know, maybe even hopping on the mic or something, you know. Yeah. It'd be fun, you know, to have be. a little event like that. I don't think they... I don't think there's been anything done like that, or maybe they've done something like that. I don't know. So, um, but it'd be yeah. cool all of us in the city to kind of come together and yeah. get to know each other, you know, help each that other would be out. Cool, yeah. So, but uh, so, nah, man, thanks for coming on. I appreciate oh, it, man. Hey, I I appreciate you having me. All right, you man. Know? This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Nice play. Oh, real quick, what's this? Oh, uh, that is Honey Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot my bonsai tree today. Like, Usually, I have a bonsai tree right there. It's upstairs. Oh. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's it was, in a, it underneath busy. the light. So yeah, it was, it, you were busy, man. Yeah, and then yeah. I show up a little early. I'm. Nah, you're good, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate but, it, man. Appreciate hey, thanks, you coming man. on. I, I appreciate. Yep. it. Thank you so much. Man.